Amaris, I need your address. I wanted to send you something like last month, and I still haven't got your address. I need your address, Amaris. Here we go. Send me, send me your address, Amaris, okay? I'm also going to need, if I see her, Julie, Julie o, Julia O's address. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> Linda, Little Gypsy, Sylvie. Hi, Tori. Mama Four, Elaine. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Juanita, Little Foot She Spins. <laughs> uh, Artsy Nancy, Linda. No need to send me anything. Oh, well, I know. I know I don't need to send you anything. Well, if you don't want me to send you anything, that's okay, too. But if you'd like me to send you something, then send me your address. I don't share it with anybody. <coughs> I don't put you on email list or nothing. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Hi, Maseki, Ellen, Pamela, Gina. Anybody else popping in? Thanks, everybody. I got a Zandra paper haul. I have a, I didn't put this in the title. I have a ribbon haul. <laughs> um, I did get a couple more um, art cards in. Now, I've already swapped them out, but I did get two people. Two people sent me their cards, so I'm going to swap them out, and I'll send them one of my little prints, and so they'll get three something back. Plus, I'll, each one of them will go in my book, the book we made of all the cards. <clears throat> Hi, Diana. Lori, Mitzi, anybody I'm missing? Jean, I said hi to Gina. Um, so yeah, so at least the two people that came in late, they'll get uh, one of each of their cards, and I'll give them one of mine, so a print of mine. So they'll they'll be still in the swap, and their 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 cards will go in the book. <clears throat> Sorry guys, get get my voice going here. Hi Jane. So, um, yeah, and then I got my Xandra order, and then I think we're going to work on some art cards today. The ones that we did from the Journaling by Five our way, <laughs> I'm going to make, uh, turn these into little worlds like these. So, yeah, we're going to work on, that's what we're going to do today. Kind of a chill, just chill and collage after I show all my uh, stuff I ordered from Xandra. Making project bag, art supply bag. Is that what you're doing, Amaris? Are you, are you on Instagram? Highlight and laughter. How's it going? Kimberly, 557. <clears throat> Who else? Uh, I got my juice here, some cranberry juice. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I got to get my voice rolling because I don't talk, you know, until, you know, six o'clock in the morning before Hubster leaves. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so until I start talking to you guys. Hi, Rain, Robin. I'll try to remember to use the mute button if I need to cough. <laughs> well, I have all this stuff that I need to remember to use. Uh, you are on Instagram. Do I follow you, Amaris? Is that your name? Is that your name on uh, Instagram? Let me go over to IG Amaris. I try to follow all you guys. Uh, hi, Lady Jen. 
Um, Amaris. I don't see it. Uh, I mean, there's tons of Amaris. It's, okay, Amaris Joseph. Um, do, 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 is it Amaris Joseph and the number behind it? Is that you there? Amaris Joseph, is that you? I'm trying to see. It's crafty, so it's probably you. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to follow you back. Okay. I followed you. Um, let's see. Who am I missing? I'm trying to scroll through. So yeah. Uh, if y'all don't know if you're watching the recording or you're just popping in and you're a lurker, thanks for being here. Um, my name's Dee Dee. I come on a uh, live stream stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but I usually come on about 8.30 to say hello and good morning and chat, you know, because once I start doing stuff, I don't catch all the chat. However, that being said, hi, Nashua. Hi, Riri. I do go back and scroll through the chat that um, from the day, you know, either that day or the next day, and uh, try to catch anybody new or see people meet, you know, I'm missed because I do miss people. You know, I have to be doing something over here. I'm not just sitting staring at chat constantly. <laughs> but if you do want to say something to me, put it in caps. Bye, Gracie. Um, art streamer. Uh, it, put it in caps so I'm more likely to see it. I won't think you're yelling at me. Um, let's see, Julia. No, you're a different Julia O. Julia O. I need Julia O'Hare. Julia O'Hare. I need her address. Um, hi, Mila. And also a couple other things. Make sure that you have your little wheel settings at either 720 or 1080p. I am streaming at 1080p, but um, sometimes YouTube will knock you back and you're going to, it's going to look fuzzy. It's because the little wheel, you have to set your settings yourself. Also, not just in my stream, but in any stream, anytime there's a chat, either live or recorded, make sure that you click live chat because talk chat is the default. And if you have talk chat click, you will not see all the chat. Okay, you will all see all the chat unless you have live chat clicked. And that includes recordings. You'll you'll just see you'll just see the top chat because that's the default. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. All right, is that you, Julio? Okay. <laughs> I need yeah, I need here's my email again because I sent out I did go ahead and get ambitious, and when I sent out all the, um, I sent out all the art cards yesterday, and I also got up early enough to do my thank you prints for February. I always send them out the first week of the next month, and I got them all done except a couple of people that I need their addresses. I got them all sent out yesterday i had a big canvas bag full of art cards happy mail uh you know prints look now this is not the art cards i already had the art cards already stamped and ready to go i just had to take them down there but my my prints the thank you prints look <laughs> this is my thank yous <laughs> Uh, those are all my thank yous that I sent out to everybody. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had to show it. I had to show it. Um, yeah. Hi, Gracie. Yeah, I got these from Sandra's shop as well. Um, there's some paper. That's just a piece stuck on there. Um, I ordered some paper from her and these two stamp sets. And... Um, Plus, again, I got two sets of art cards that came in, which I'll swap those out because they're laid, obviously, and some uh, collage fodder from somebody else. So I got three Happy Mails. Then I got this haul, and then I also got a ribbon haul. 
So Hobby Lobby has most of their ribbons either on clearance or 50% off. So I got a bag of ribbons because those I'll use for trim on the prayer pouches. So, um, yeah, stocked up on ribbon while it was either clearance or 50% off. And I think almost all the ones I got were clearanced. So, uh, thanks, Jane. That's true. That's true. And I love you guys. I do. I love you guys. Hi, Hedgy. Um, let's see. Ashley, how you doing, Ashley? I don't think I've seen. Have you been posted? Have I missed you on? <clears throat> have I missed you on IG lately? I don't know. I don't remember seeing you this last week or so. Hi, Janet. How's it going? So, yeah, we're going to have fun. And then after we do all the show and tell, then I'm going to work on my art cards. Janet worked on her um, journaling by five journal that she made last Thursday. She worked on that on Monday afternoon. So if you want to see her continue to work in that journaling by five book that she started when we did our stream last week, she did that on Monday. So she did do that on Monday. Let's see. Hi, Pacola. Don't you already have a big bin of ribbon? Um, yeah, but I got some special, some fancier trims. Some fancier trims. <laughs> Pacola. <coughs> so yeah. So I got all my um I got all my uh thank you. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so that will go in my um my record book. <laughs> so let's see. Hi, Boney. How's it going? Connie. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see who else. And I'll probably show the book again uh, because I have to add two more people to it um, that I'm just going to swap out with each other. And uh, so I'm going to add them to the book. So if y'all missed, I did do a flip through of the book. My my, I look back at my Monday stream. It was a little washed out. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a cloudy day. Those days are hard to get the lighting just right. <clears throat> but uh, it looks pretty good today. So I'll probably show this again today. Plus, I don't want to forget to read in our thousand one ways to be creative. What else? <laughs> There's so much stuff that I want to you know get done today. So, but it's always fun. It's always fun. I have fun. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> um, I'm going to write that down so I know which one you are, because I think there's another Julia too. So, okay. Thank you so much. I'll get yours uh, sent out. Um, let's see. Today's one, probably tomorrow or Saturday. And and the these other two that I'll, I swap out, I have stamps for that. Uh, I could probably stamp out the... Uh, the print too let's see darla happy hump day julie's julie julie topaz is usually here going happy wonderful wednesday <laughs> so um yeah let's see uh, da -da -da -da. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. I think we're we're caught up. So yeah, uh, I got a couple stamp sets. Um, I, I love y'all know I, I'm a calligrapher, and uh, from way back. No, <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm busy. Yeah, and I've got to finish. I've got uh, a couple of commissions. I've got to get done, um, and mailed out. So I'm going to try to get it done by to mail out on Saturday. So finish that. Uh, I've made some sketchbooks a while back that aren't filled yet because my twin has asked me to make a sewing diagram book or to make a wardrobe from. Oh, wow. You're ambitious, Amaris. That's an ambitious project. <clears throat> Let's see. So what else has everybody been up to? What else has everybody been up to? The cats are both asleep right now, so um, yeah. They, uh, so I got up one time to pick up something in the art in my art space, and I turned around and Oliver had taken over my chair. <clears throat> I said, "Oliver, I need my chair." So they each have their own little beds. It's so funny at Christmas. Um, I bought them these 
you know, pet beds for Christmas. And Hubster goes, they're not going to want to sleep in those things. They sleep on the bed with us. They're not going to want to sleep. I said, well, I'll put them on the bed. <laughs> put their beds on the bed. And um, so it turns out I found the spaces that they like. Malibu likes to sleep in her bed, but on the floor in front of a bookcase. And if I move her bed anywhere, she'll sleep just on the floor in front of the bookcase in a certain spot. She always sleeps there. Well, I mean, she sleeps other places too, but for the most part, she sleeps right there in front of the bookcase in front of our bed. And uh, so I put her bed right there where she always lay. So she always sleeps in her bed and Oliver likes to sleep on the bed with us in his bed. So <laughs> they're so cute. Uh, let's see. Light and Laughter been doing an art journal page. Do I follow you, Sylvie? Do I follow you on uh, Instagram? Are you on Instagram? Hi, Seeking My Crafty Tribe. What stamp is that? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to show them both in a minute. I got them from um, Zandra's shop, which is Paint and Paper Studio. Paint and Paper. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Jan's going to pop that link right in. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, hi, Flo. How you doing, Flo? Good to see you. <laughs> Uh, it's just used to study fashion so it doesn't take me long. Oh, okay. So are you a fashion designer then? I saw some of your, you know, I just glanced at your IG with some of your uh, stuff there, but I didn't really look, look at it yet. Um, an art amateur, light and laughter said. Okay. Um, hi, Angela. Good morning. Let's see. Who else? Now, I said, I think I said hi to Nashua. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> look, there's <laughs> the Pacola's on it. Pacola's our little snapdragon, <laughs> our snapping turtle snapdragon. <laughs> so it's just paint and paper studio, and it's Zandra who is scraps to beauty on, um, on. Uh, everywhere, you know, Xandra Scraps to Beauty, but that's the name of her shop, Paint and Paper Studio. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. Uh -huh. So that's where I got all this that I'm getting ready to show. Uh, hi, Jeff. How you doing? What you been up to? Yeah, well, I don't know what to say about that, Jeff. Flo's usually, you know, cracking the whip at people. So thanks, Jeff. <laughs> uh, hi, Sarah Moon, Moonlit Crafter. Uh, let's see. Um, trying not to miss anybody. I'm still unpacking and working on my upcycling DIY projects for my master bathroom. I'll show pics when I get when you can okay as i go okay ashley yeah ashley moved and so she's been busy I, I mean i don't blame you for not posting but i just noticed you when you're gone hi jazzy how you doing jazzy sims thanks for stopping in let's see all right well i guess we could get started we could get started hope everybody's going to you know, enjoy. Like I said, we're going to work on some art cards later. And uh, I turn these into little worlds like these. These are just some I made prints of just to have, because I have, I, I never, you know, I give them all away. I give them all away and then I don't have any to show. So, uh, yeah, I like to at least, I do take pictures of them. I take pictures of them all before I give them away just so I have a record of them all. Hi, Tina. Good to see you. Whoops, it didn't work. <laughs> I got to click fast. So, uh, hi, dude. Tina, I watched Pete's show this morning while I was getting ready for the show. I watched, because I don't get to make, uh, Pete is a creepy little book, and Tina's his mod. Um, <laughs> they're on at midnight to one o'clock in the morning, and I just can't, I can't do it. I can't make, that. so I watch the recordings. Usually, you know, within a day or two. So welcome, Tina. Welcome. Let's see who else. Uh, 
uh, Kelly Watley, Pico uh, sorry, Picole, it snapped. When are you going to work on that new big journal that you showed on Monday? <laughs> you mean the uh, Art Nouveau one that I took a book apart to make? Is that the one you're talking about, Picola? Because uh, I show so many. I think that's the one you're talking about. Hey, let me, uh, <laughs> I got it sitting here. I haven't even folded all the signatures yet. Um, I should. I probably shouldn't have shown it so uh, before I got it more ahead. So this is the cover. This is the cover of that was on the the actual book itself. Okay, and I cut it down, and it's going. And I put a cardboard. I put a chipboard piece in here for the spine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these. Uh, uh, they're just shy. They're just shy of twelve. So it's about eleven and a half by six. And I'm going to make these signatures, and they're going to be elastic banded in here. So I'm probably going to be able to get probably, I don't know, 10 signatures maybe in there. 10 signatures. <laughs> Is this the one you're talking about? Is that it, Pacola? <laughs> Hi, Amaris. Connie, Wendy. And then, so I already deconstructed the book. I mean, this doesn't look like a lot, but it took me about, I don't know, two hours. It took me a good two hours to deconstruct the book. And these are not the full pages. I still have another pack like this of the full pages that won't work in this book because they're full on pages. These are all the half pages and cutouts and the, the edges. I cut all the edges off. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're, I'll work on this. I don't know. It won't be today. Uh, I have because I haven't folded all the signatures. You don't want to sit here and watch me fold a hundred sheets of paper. You know, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I got, uh, I got this, and I always get this fifty percent off. I always get the paper, this cardstock at Hobby Lobby, fifty percent off. I never pay full price because they always put their paper studio stuff on on sale for fifty percent off at least once a month. So, yeah, here's my paper for that project. That's my paper for that project, Pacola. <laughs> I'm such a tease, aren't I? And then a elastic string and not rubber band. Rubber bands will, uh, they'll, um, they'll fall apart after a couple of years. So if you use the stretchy elastic string, you know, like that you get in the jewelry department to tie those signatures in. Or you could poke the holes and do the cop, cop, coptic stitch and all that. Pamphlet stitch. I forget what stitch is. I don't do that. I don't, I don't stitch my name in the book. I just put the elastic on it. And that's why I put an extra um, reinforcement in the spine. So it's sturdy to hold the elastic without bending. So, yeah, let's see. Ray D. Who else? Um, um, Hedgewig. Who else? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's almost nine. So the first thing I want to show is, you know what? Let me show the happy mail. Let me show the happy mail. So let's do this. Let me slide this over. We'll just slide the paper and stamps right over here. Okay, so this is one, and I'm not going to show any addresses here. So these just came in late. This one's from Molly, Molly N. And she sent hers in, and, you know, they just came in late. And it's, you know, the post office, you know, whatever. <laughs> so um, let me show the backs. So here are the backs of Molly's. There's the backs, and here's the front. So the these are from the uh, Fantasy Garden art swap we did over the last, I don't know, five and a half weeks or six weeks or so. And uh, two of y'all's didn't, Molly and another one, didn't come in in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out one for one of hers. And, well, no, actually two for two. But, no, there's, did I get three? No, I think I only got two. And I'll swap out these late ones, right? I'll swap out these late ones. So with them, and then if I need to, I'll add one of my, uh, I'll add one of my little prints. But that's the best I can do. Either that or it, it's either that or send them all back. So um, I think she'd rather just, you know, have at least two of the same persons. 
um, then have, you know, all of hers back. But I'm going to put one of them. I'll put one of them in the book. Um, let me just put a little post-it note on it so I can put, the, uh, you know, make a spot for it in the book. Hang on. <clears throat> Molly. Okay. So which one should I keep? Which one should I keep? I like them all. I like kind of like this one. I think I'm going to keep this one. So I'm going to keep this one, Molly, and that will go in our book, which I'm going to show the book again here in a minute. So that'll go in the book. And then these two, I'll, I'll either swap out one for one with another girl, and then I'll give you one of my prints. So that way you can have, um, you know, get be a part of the, be a part of it. So there's Molly's and her self-addressed envelope. Here we go. I'm going to put this all back together until I swap it out. Put that to the side. Excuse a squeaky chair, but it's 20-something years old, and I'm not getting rid of it. It's too comfortable. Okay, then these and this. This is this collage stuff came from Gina, so I wrote her name on there. <clears throat> so this was hers. And let's see. Okay, so I think I saw there she is. Gina's here. So Gina sent collage fodder and her card. So this is how her cards all came. Her cards came in these envelopes like this. So I'm going to swap her out with Molly and one of mine. Because that way they'll have, you know, different ones. Okay. And so um, Gina also sent postage money. Thank you, um, Gina. Thank you for hosting the swap. I had so much fun making these. It was my first time making ATC cards, but it won't be the last. The lemur cutout didn't have a tail, so I painted one on. I've been a long time lurker, but when I do visit and say hi and chat, you and the fibs are always so sweet and make me feel welcome. Thank you, Gina. Plus, P.S., here's some money for postage and supplies. So thank you, Gina. And this will go in the fibs book. That's a separate book than the, um, separate book than the uh, uh, art card book. All right, so she sent collage stuff, and then this is another one over here. Let me separate this. I think that's that one. Let's, let's move this over. All right, so let's look at Gina's cards. <laughs> so she had them in little envelopes. And if there's a lemur, you know that's the one I'm going to keep. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Each one is all, um, I'm going to show each one. So there's Gina. Fantasy art card swap. So this is the ones that she's done. I like this one too. <laughs> she sent a lemur. Um, oh, thanks, Janet. <laughs> Janet put the link in for Pete's uh, creepy little book. Um, he's not a comic book artist. Janet, he's not a comic book artist. He is a storyteller and does, uh, if y'all know Art Bell, do y'all know Art Bell? Um, Tina, what's the name of Art Bell's channel? I mean, show Art Bell. Um, uh, can't think of him. He was, he's got George Norrie does it now, but it was Art Bell. What was his name of his show? Anyway, Pete's like that. Pete tells, you know, um, stories of myths and monsters and mayhem. <laughs> coast to coast. Thank you, Tina. So if y'all know Coast to Coast with George Nori, and at first it was Art Bell. Well, Pete's kind of like, you know, the the Art Bell of YouTube. Uh, he does all those, uh, you know, UFOs and big, I mean, he does, you know, all the myths and stuff like that. And it shows about an hour. It's about an hour long, uh, but it doesn't come on to like midnight. I think on Sundays he does it at 11 to 12, but it comes on at midnight. So I never can, I, well, I ne don't say never, I've made a few, but I don't make very many of those midnight shows. But anyway, um, yeah, so, but Janet did put the link in there. Janet did put the link in there. So, yeah, it's a creepy little book. <laughs> yeah. ah, the link is still good. Yeah, thanks, Janet. Thanks, Janet. Everybody's laughing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me get back. Let me get back to Gina's cards here. So she let me take each one out of the 
Okay, so here's the lemur. So, of course, I'm going to keep the lemur one, right? I will be keeping the lemur. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. It's a lemur. You know, that's my, uh, my you know, YouTube and uh, my header logos all have the lemur I painted. I painted a lemur in, um, and that's my, uh, what's my header? Let me see. I think this one goes this way, yeah. So thank you so much, Gina. These are awesome. I know, Tori, aren't they? I probably should put the envelope down because I think that's casting a shadow. So, yeah. So here we go. So these are, these are the three from Gina. So I'll swap one out with Molly, and then I will also send you one of my one of mine because that's the best I can do since they came in late. But that being said, I'm keeping the lemur, and Gina's name is on the back, so I will put that over there to go in the book, <clears throat> and I will put these in the swap. Okay, she had these little nice little envelopes. Nice little envelopes that she put them in. Hi, Julie Topaz. Oops. Hi, Julie Topaz. I think I saw Julie Topaz go zooming by. I, think, I thought I saw her. And I saw Janice. Hi, Janice. Uh, I'm probably missing people coming in. Devin. Uh, so, yeah, those two, these will get uh, swapped out. And um, let me put it all back in the envelope here. That will go out, and thank you for the postage. All right, so let me show you the collage fodder she sent. Okay, so Gina sent all this, and I will. I want to get back to making some of y'all's collages with the collage fodder you send in, um, and uh, and send them out to you guys. All right, so let's see what kind of collage fodder she sent. Little butterflies. All kinds of little butterflies, flowers. Hope y'all can see this more butterflies. Let me stack up the butterflies. So, Gina, let me put your name over here. <clears throat> so, these will be fun. Look, look at these. Whoops, glare. Let's, uh, let me do it this way so I can hold it up and not have a glare. Well, there's a glare there too. <laughs> so, these are going to be fun. Um, hello, Rish, Rishab, Rishab, welcome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Tina, they do. They look, all her cards, all the cards are all, everybody had, and I'm going to show the book again in a minute. The whole book of everybody. So look how fun. Look at all this. She sent quite the stack. <laughs> I'm going to have to try to decide how to choose from this. There's some more butterflies. Let's put that over here. I'm going to have to try to decide how to choose out of this batch. This is a lot of um, good stuff here, Gina. And that tiger. Y'all know I've, I've used a tiger in a, a few of my um, collages. There's a hummingbird. Nice flowers. Of course, anything with a spiral. I love anything with a spiral. Has uh, has uh, Pete ever done anything on the, on the spiral? Um, Tina, do you know? Look how pretty. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Love this. Look, Easter Island. Easter Island at night with the stars. I guess I guess this is for the tourist. I'm assuming that they have some kind of a spotlight they put on it. I don't know. I've never seen it at night. <clears throat> I love this tree. I like this and this together. Look. I don't think I'd have to make a big collage for that to work, but <laughs> so I like that. Or it could be like on back on his back. I like those two things together. So thank you so much. Oh, and some watches. Always can use watches. Let's put these two on top because I'm kind of feeling those two right there. Okay, so let me put all this together. So keep Gina's name on there in a paper clip. Let's Get all these together. <clears throat> so, and this will go in the collage fodder stack. 
actually have an envelope for a plastic, one of those plastic sleeve things to put these in. Okay, so let me put that to the side. That will be in the next, in another collage project. Hi, G. Anybody else I miss coming in? Okay, then this one, this came from Starla, Star Art Starla. <clears throat> and she sent me some, um, uh, a, like a book. Well, I'll read the thing. And then some of her art, too. So she didn't send art cards in her. So this is Happy Birthday Month. Thank you for taking your time to hang, hang out and sharing your arting arty knowledge while you create. I've enclosed a print of my recent piece, so, uh, one of my recent pieces. It has been enhanced because, as you know, metallics don't copy well, so I had to add them back on. There's also a book created by one of our local Kansas artists. It has examples of her paintings, poetry, and research along with a few personal memories. I hope that you enjoy it. Inside the book is a paper from the local print shop that made the book for her, if anyone is interested. The round piece is what I call an art medallion. I made it one day while watching you make art cards. Thank you again for all you do for the fibs. I've enjoyed trying to learn how to keep my keep up with the chat while watching and learning. Best wishes, Starla. So yeah, there she is. <laughs> Whoops, I got got to quit. I have to click quick because it moved just like that. So there's Starla Arts. Thank you, Starla. Okay, so let's look at this. So here's her medallion. <clears throat> so look how pretty that is. So there, there's her. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that shimmer. Look at that glow. Look at that shimmer and glow. I love it. <laughs> I'll put this in your letter in the in the fibs book. So I'm I won't put it back in the sleeve because I like things not in the sleeves. That's just me. Uh, let me see. Hang on, I'm knocking everything over. I gotta find, I'm trying to find a let me just get a paper clip over here. Trying to find some paper clips. Okay, here we go. Uh, so I'll paper clip all this together. All right, so let's see. This is her art here. I do keep art in, in the sleeve. So, uh, Starla Arts print. I'm not sure which way it goes. I guess it could go either way, any way you want it to go. Um, let me see how I like it. I like it like this. I don't know if that's the way she intended it, but I like it this way. I like it this way. Her abstract. I like it. Thank you so much. I love the colors, especially love the colors, Starla. Love the colors. I know. Hi, Arlene. Did I say good morning to you? I don't know if I did or not. Hi, Arlene. Sherry Bug. Okay, so let me put this back in the sleeve. I can figure it out. <laughs> the opening, there it is. <clears throat> so there we go with that. And this is the Getting Smarter Birds by Bonnie Newbrand. Childhood memories, illustrations, and poetry. So she said as a Kansas artist. <clears throat> I just like, the, oh, there's a little note in here. Okay. Oh, this is the printer. Pronto Print. Commercial printing. Wishing you the best birthday month and many, many moments throughout the year for making wonderful memories. Thank you, Starla. So that's who printed the book. I'll leave that in here. I will leave that in the book. So let's put that in the back here. All right, so let's take a look at this book that Starla sent. Uh, let's see. I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody. So look up, look how pretty this is. <clears throat> poems, and I guess it's poems and stories. Uh, it says it's dedicated to her grandchildren. 
And uh, I like how it's just laid out with little, you know, little clips of like collaged. I like how it's collaged. So like here's the fairy wren. Here's the Eurasian collared dove. And then it has little information about each one. I can't get it too close. It's going to flash. I mean, it's going to just not work. I have the autofocus off. So isn't this cool? Look at these birds. It's a lovely book. Thank you so much. Robin. There's a chickadee. But it's just really cool how it's got little collage information on the side. Isn't that cool, guys? Kingfisher. House wren. Thanks for sending it so much. There's the cardinal. Here's a, about the road run. Oh, here's a story about the road runner written as one of my childhood memories. Here is the ducks, a morning adventure, childhood memory. And then there's a glossary in the back. And then, of course, there's the, the paper I want to say. Isn't that awesome? Oh, look, birds, bird song and sounds. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, people. <laughs> Oh, I got I to gotta say something else to Tina. Pete uh, on his show last night was singing. <laughs> I like that. That was pretty good, Tina. You have to tell him that was awesome. So thank you so much, Starla. Thank you. I will put this all together, and I'll put some of it in the um, – let's see. I don't want to put that on there. Um, I will uh, put some of it in the um, – let me just kind of make it stick right there. In the Fibs art book. And uh, I've got to get back to work on that. I don't know. So many projects. Well, that goes in the Fibs book. That one goes in the collage book. This one goes in the Fibs book. Let's see. Okay, those get swapped out. All right. We're getting there, people. <laughs> so before I move on, let me show you. And I will add, I will add Gina's and Molly's cards to the book. Um, later on, I'll stick them in here for now, but I'll add them in. So if y'all missed, is this straight? Oh, maybe this is throwing me off. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and flip again through the, this was all the entries for the fantasy garden art card swap. And I, I kept one and, and swapped out two of everybody's. And then here's my list of all the names, which now I'm going to add on here. Let's go ahead and add on here Molly. <clears throat> and Gina. Okay, so now that makes that makes a total of 65. That's 65, and I will put because I have to write their names out. That makes 65 total that were in there in the swap which i think is a good amount i did uh, by the way in case y'all didn't hear me earlier let me take a sip of juice i did send them all out yesterday went to the post office those were all ready to go all the uh, art cards i'd already had them stamped international stamps <clears throat> they were all ready to go and bundled but because i got up early enough yesterday to get the thank you prints in their envelopes and ready to go. So there was like 55 of those, I think. So I got all of those done yesterday morning. I don't know if Janet was in here when I showed this. So here is all the, the thank you prints that I sent out yesterday morning, as well, as well as the art cards. Now the art cards aren't on here because they were already uh, stamped. But these, all the uh, prints, I had the little sticker stuck on it, you know, printed out. The, the uh, post lady put that on there. So, yeah, I got all that done. I got them all sent out yesterday. So let's go ahead. <laughs> I know it is, Ashley. I know. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and 
and uh, being here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look one more time through the book. This is the one that I did that when I had done some art cards, like, you know, we did, I did them, uh, I'm going to do today. Uh, that's why I said, well, I got the idea to do the um, an art card swap with the fantasy garden theme. So this is one that I did and I'd sent all the others out previously. So it wasn't like in the swap, but I put my first one. I'm going to put up here, Fantasy Garden um, 2021 up here on the, on the cover page. So I'm going to just kind of flip through here. You'll probably be able to, I'll kind of go a little slow. So take the glare off and hopefully y'all can see everybody's names. And their cards. Um, Devin's has a little door that opens. And so I hand wrote out everybody's name and put them in the book. And uh, so you can kind of see them one more time. And I'll reach out while I'm doing this. Hopefully they'll, I'm going to kind of keep an eye that it doesn't flash out. <clears throat> So thanks everybody that participated. It was fun. I know, aren't they, Sarah? They're all so great. Hopefully all they're lit enough to see and to see your names. You're welcome, Sherry Bug. I know, right? So much talent. I know, right? Hi, Judy 333, by the way. Am I, are y'all seeing it? The lighting? It's so thick. You know, it's a big, thick book. I'm kind of trying to hold it in midair. <clears throat> Think with the two that came in late that I am going to swap out with each other, there were 65, 65 participated. And I did show them as they came in over the last five or six weeks. Every time um, a new batch came in, I would show it at the beginning of the stream. So if you go back over the last, uh, you know, month's worth of streams, they should all be at the beginning of each stream. Every time uh, a new batch came in, I showed them individually. So... But I got them all mailed out yesterday, except except these two that came in late. I'm going to swap out. Uh, they all got mailed out yesterday. So hopefully, you know, the beginning of next week at the latest. Well, international, it's going to be probably a little longer. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> Some are a little smaller, some are a little taller. It's okay. <clears throat> and then a couple of y'all sent in double sets. <clears throat> Donna Kalo said, um, I didn't like my first set, so I sent another one. Well, I'd already swapped it out, so it already got swapped out, but I also swapped out our second set as well. Because it came in, in in time for me to do that. So. And CB was another one that sent in two sets. Because she said, I sent this one. It was so thick. I didn't, I didn't think about that. So she sent in another set. But again, I swapped them out twice. Same thing for Jane. She sent in a double set. I swapped those out. <clears throat> then uh, Abigail, hers was thick too. And I did try to pad the envelope so that hopefully, <laughs> and I double, I put tape over the envelope. So hopefully this won't make a hole in the envelope. But it, it you know, this is a door that opens on Abigail's. And then Boney, hers was extra thick too. She had a little book. She had a book inside of a pouch on hers. So... And then the last one here is Elmeris, who the one she sent, she sent an extra one. Well, she, this is the one she wanted me to keep. And uh, it has his feathers on it. So hers is in the back of the book because of the feathers. 
cards. I didn't know what else to do with that. So, and then these will, I will put their names and uh, Molly's and, um, and uh, um, uh, Gina's. I'm going to put theirs in here as well later. So I'll just paper clip them in for now. So it's quite the big 65 all total. So that was a good amount of people for a swap. So again, thanks everybody that participated. And I hope everybody's arrived safely. You know, I, I made sure if there was any doubt on the postage, especially international, I put an extra postage. I put, because everybody, you're not everybody, but a lot of people sent extra postage and postage money. So if there was any doubt about them getting there, I slapped an extra stamp on just in case. So it may not have needed it, but I did. I put an extra one on anybody's that I thought may need an extra postage just to be on the safe side. So hopefully everybody's arrived, especially the international, but it's out of my hands now. It's out of my hands. <laughs> so we, you know, hope for the best. Um, Rebecca D, good morning. Package might not have made it. So I'm so sorry it was late. Yeah, Rebecca, it. I have not got your cards. Yeah, I got um, I got the two others. Uh, I think Hubster might go to the post office today. So if it comes in today or maybe tomorrow, I'll swap you out with Molly and Gina. Okay, because those two came in late as well. So the three of you, I will swap out if yours comes in. If yours comes in today or tomorrow, Rebecca, I'll swap yours out with them. Okay. <clears throat> So, well, I try to be Tina. I try to be thoughtful. Okay. So next, uh, let's go on to my haul. So I have an order that I, 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 I like to support Zandra Shop, which is Paint and Paper Studio, which I think Pacola put in. Don't trust Janet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Janet always teases herself that, um, you know, <laughs> she's not the she's not the uh, quickest on the draw when it comes to putting in a link but she does her best and we appreciate your effort <laughs> we tease each other all the time guys i'm seriously we're teasing each other it's in good fun <laughs> uh so anyway okay rebecca i'll let you know <laughs> Um, okay, so this is from Paint and Paper Studio. Here is Sandra's. <laughs> oh, look at her. Look at Janet go. Look at Janet go. <laughs> we do. We do love Janet. We love our Janet for sure. When Julie Topaz and Pacola, Helen. Yeah, we love our mods here. They're awesome mods. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> all right so these are and sandra always sends little extra goodies she sent me a tag and this is a little magnet um i think that i don't know let's see it has her logo on there i, I don't know if i remember seeing her do this but this will go on my refrigerator and I've already got tags, and y'all know I have a double-page spread in the Fibs book for Zandra. And I have a double-page spread in my Fibs book for Janet, too. <laughs> so this is, uh, oh, and, then she, and this is the paper that she wraps in because, you know, Zandra's our, our uh, resident mermaid. Okay, Janet's, uh, Z Zandra's our Jan, ah, Zandra is our resident mermaid. And uh, I love her little holographic mermaid paper. She has things wrapped up in this. She sent a couple of extra napkins. She always does this for all. I think she pretty much does this with all her orders. She sends you a couple of extra napkins if you're making a napkin journal. So um, I'll use these in one of my napkin journals. You know, uh, <laughs> I have the big one and, and, and another one. So um Let's see. It, don't forget, guys. Oh, there's Julie. Hi, Julie. I did. I don't know if I said hi to you. Um, I think I did, but I didn't want to miss you. Um, don't forget, guys. If you want to talk to me, put it in caps. 
<laughs> we tease each other all the time, Janet and I do. <laughs> Trippy now, because I zippy. Zippy our unicorn. I found this this morning while I was cleaning something out. Yeah. There's, there, there, there's Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> Zippy the unicorn. Thank you for stopping by. There's APG Jamie. Thanks for being here, Jamie. I just showed again, guys. I showed she missed it. I showed all the art cards um, that we swapped out. All total, there was 65. 65. And then um, yeah. <laughs> so then then I this is the stuff I ordered from her. Uh, I ordered this set. Now, y'all know me. Now, this is why I, I did not take it out of the package. But now that it's here, I do not keep packaging. So it all comes out. <laughs> it gets, you know, recycled. I don't keep this. And then uh, stamps always have a piece of this plastic on the back of them. This is a kind of plastic if you don't have, like, the butcher uh, porcelain trays to watercolor on. Or use it for your uh, water-based markers to scribble on and pick up with the water brush. Keep a piece of this plastic, and all you have to do is put a piece of let me find a piece of white paper here. You just put a piece of white paper. Well, this is my. You can see it's painted on. But just put a piece of white paper behind it and tape it down, and then you can use this as a palette. So um, these heavy pieces of plastic like this are good for a palette. Uh, either to scribble your water-based markers and things on or just to use it for a palette for watercoloring. So that's always good. So I have, um, I ordered these because y'all know I'm a calligrapher and uh, a little out of practice, but <laughs> that's what I used to do back in the 80s before everybody had a computer or desktop. <laughs> I always have to correct myself because I say before computers, what I really mean is before desktops <laughs> where everybody could print out their own fonts and everything. So I used to do my own calligraphy. But anyway, uh, I did love this stamp set. So uh, I bought this and uh, I know Janet's probably already... Um, yeah, they do. Red rubber does have the best images. It is better. Uh, it, there are crisp. They can be crisper than um, acrylics, but acrylics really come a long way since when they first came out, don't you think, Janet? And um, packaging, <laughs> Tina. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> so I really love this set, and uh, so yeah. Now you don't when when you uh, the red rubber is usually ready to go. Now uh, acrylic stamps like this set that I bought. Oh, maybe I should have told you who that was made by. Okay, so this is high definition stamps by Stamperia. Stamperia is where I also she gets the papers, uh, the Chow Bella and Stamperia papers. But this is a Stamperia. Maybe I should keep this because somebody's going to ask me. I know someone's going to end up asking me where the <laughs> whose stamp set this is later on, and I'm not going to remember because I don't keep packaging anymore, but I will keep the top of this and maybe just tape it on here. Maybe I'll just tape that on there. So anyway, this is from Stamperia, okay? The, this one is, I just liked it because this will be good for my little art journals, my travelers and you know, stamping in like what we did on Monday, those kind of journals. So um, this is Bad Girl Stamps, and this is a Chow Bella, I think. Yeah, this is a Chow Bella Bad Girls. <laughs> and again, it has the plastic on the back, which I always take this off. Now, I don't need another one of these because I have so many. This one's a kind of a thin one. Uh, but what you want to do with your acrylic stamps is take a eraser, a, a, you know, the white plastic erasers like this. And what you want to do is because they usually have some kind of a sticky coating or some kind of a film on your on your acrylic stamps. So what you want to do is take your plastic eraser and go over the whole thing like this. And then take a baby wipe and just uh, wipe off the crumbs, the uh, eraser crumbs, before you use it. Because otherwise, it's just not going to stamp that well. And I, I pretty much can say almost every acrylic stamp set I've ever had, I've had to do this to. Sometimes twice. So I'll wash it off with a baby wipe and I might have to do it again. 
uh, till it doesn't feel sticky. So I love these designs for small small journals or art cards. Maybe I'll use them. No, no, no. Maybe I can use them on here. So uh, these are pretty well ready to go for us to work on today. <clears throat> these are from uh, the Janet and I did the jour uh, journaling by five our way last Thursday. And um, so we started out, she, Janet made a book out of hers um, and I'd use eight and a half or eight by ten, eight and a half by 11 cardstock to do the whole process. And then after we did the whole process, I just cut all of them down to three by four art cards. And that's what I'm going to work on to hopefully turn them into something like these art cards that I've done in the past. So that's what we're going to work on today is um, sci-fi fantasy art cards. Okay. So anyway, these little stamps like this and, uh, Baby wipes. <laughs> no, baby wipes are a painty tool around here, Zippy. Yes, they are a, I mean, I cannot make mist and, um, and fog without a baby wipe. Just saying. I have to have a baby wipe to make fog and mist. Maybe I'll make some fog and mist for the unicorn today. Anyway, Chow Bella Bad Girl stamp set. And this one, does it have a name? Uh, I don't think, I don't know if it has a, it's just called Bad Girl. Oh, Cluster. It's called Cluster. So there's those. Then the papers. And these are Stamperia papers. And uh, usually I take them out because I like to use them. I don't keep, I don't keep stuff in packaging anymore. When I was on design teams and things like that, I had to keep the packaging because um, people would, you know, you had to reference every single thing you use. Now I don't do that, but I know these are Stamperia. But there's the Stamperia logo right there. <clears throat> and these are um, rice papers. And they, they collage so awesome. So awesome. I'm not going to show you all my books. I'll just show one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, where I've used it. Okay, so this is one of my, this is my Asian book that I made for uh, ephemera. And uh, this is one of the Stamperia papers. Okay, and I made it, I put it on cardstock so I could make a pocket for it. And uh, the whole book itself is made out of poster board. So um, this is one of my uh, books to hold, to hold ephemera. Okay, to hold all kinds of uh, Asian ephemera. And then here's... Uh, the cover that I put for this one. This is all gold to make it look like gold wood. And then this is all um, uh, perfect pearls. And then here's another one of the, another one of the. Uh, this is another one of the uh, Stamperia rice papers. And then a little pocket down here. Whoops! <laughs> Don't pull it apart, Dee Dee. And uh, so I stick this down in here. These are napkins. And then there's this one. And again, Stamperia paper. So they're just beautiful papers. There's another one over here. They're just stunning papers. I love the Stamperia papers. And here's the back. <clears throat> so this is just one of the books that I made out of some of the papers. I also did a Leonardo da Vinci one. Well, I've shown them before. So anyway, my point is, is to show you how um, how pretty the papers are. So there's, I got that one. And that one, does it have the name of the line? Let's see. I'm not sure the name of the paper line. That one. Yeah. The number on it is DFSA4474 for this one. This one is, this one's a Chow Bella. Got to find the flap here. And I think this one is from the is this, um, I don't know. This is called New York State of Mind. I'm thinking this might be from the jazz, pa you know, the jazz 
uh, I bought two two of the jazz papers. So, but anyway, they're made in Italy and they're, they're a rice paper. They're just high quality. Now you're going to pay about, I don't know, $2.50 or something like that for each one of these. Okay. Then this one, I have the paper one. I mean, the paper pack from this one too, but I bought an extra one of these. And uh, this one's Stamperia. <clears throat> but I use them pretty quick. So keeping the packaging just really doesn't make a lot of sense. I do try to uh, show them and tell the company and promote Xandra's store before I use them. But, you know, things get used around here. All right. So let's set that aside. Now, these two, I, I think one, I got this set and then, and this set I think is a supplement set. I can't, I can't, I'll tell you the numbers and what's on the covers, but I got two of the blue note sets and then this one I bought before, but I've been using it. So I wanted a second set. So you've seen me flip through this Chow Bella collateral rust, but I'm going to do it again because I bought it again. <laughs> I know, Devin, pretty papers. Don't forget, guys, if you um, if you want to talk to me, put it in caps, and I still might miss it. And if I miss saying hi to you, I do go, hi, Teresa Duffy. I do go back and re-skim through the chat later that day or the next day uh, to try to, you know, uh, and, and if I see you there. Because especially new people, I like to acknowledge new people that come in. Uh, and I know, hi, Suzanne. I know I miss people coming in and out. So this is the collateral rust. And I love this paper is like the colors. Y'all know if y'all see me do a lot of collaging, painting, um, you know, mixed media, art journaling. My favorite colors are indigo blue, sienna, and yellow ochre. Those are like my renaissance colors. I love those colors. And this pad of paper or stack, they're individual sheets, are those colors. These are my colors. So I love, I love this stack. So um, I'm going to flip it. It's double-sided. So I'm going to show you every side here. It's just such a, oh, I just love this. This is like, remember how, well, y'all, some of y'all don't know me back that far back, but I used to, basic gray was one of my, um, <laughs> I saw that zippy. Um, basic gray was one of my favorite paper lines back in the day. This is, uh, I'm going to say this is, I like this better. I like this better than basic gray. Look at it. It's just this this rust is me. <laughs> I'm just rusty. <laughs> I love this paper line so much. And so Xandra still had it. So when I placed my order, I didn't order as much as sometimes I do. So I said, well, let me go ahead and get another set of that because I love it so much. And uh, And I do like to use my paper. So, you know. Just look at that yumminess. Look at that yummy rust. <laughs> I just love that peeling paint and all of this. I just love it. So, and then this is a whole bunch of gauges. <clears throat> look at those old pumps. Isn't it awesome, guys? I know, Boney, right? It's just, oh, it's just stunning paper. Look at the uh, fire hydrant. They're all rusted. Little weeds growing all over it. Bunch of bottle caps. License plates. Bunch of little uh, nuts. Because, you know, we're a bunch of wing nuts. I'll have to put some of this in the wing nut book. This is like the numbers on the gas pump. 
And then these are uh, the metal stamps, uh, the metal like printers, printer stamps and numbers. Oh, I just love every one of these papers. And then here's your cut aparts that, um, you know, different size cut aparts to use. You must love the show. American. I do. <laughs> Zippy. Oh, let me show you. Here. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me see if I can reach it. Oh, there went the pen. Oh, let's see if I can get this. I have <laughs> I have one of the uh, <laughs> American Pickers license plates. My son-in-law got this for me for my birthday a couple of years ago. Oh, it's been more than that, a few years ago. He got this uh, license plate for me from their store in, uh, uh, it, not, it's not, is it Tennessee? No, it's not. He, there's one in Iowa and then one in, where's the other store located? It's not, it's not Tennessee. Um, maybe it's Tennessee. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, he got this for me at their shop. They sell these. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, if you did, you called that well. So, yeah, I follow Mike and Frank and uh, all of them uh, from way back since they when they first started. Nashville. Thank you, Lynette. Nashville. Yeah, okay, it is Tennessee. I couldn't remember where their uh, the second sh store was. They started in Iowa. But anyway, I have one of their license plates. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I'll hang that back up later. <laughs> so, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, okay. So, that is those papers. Let's see. my Looks like my color went a little bit away. Uh, it does change. The lighting does change all this, uh, the colors and everything. I'm trying to keep it as true to color as I can. Then I got the, this two, these two sets. And... Um, there's how many are in this one mm, anyway one set's a little has more than the other but i bought both of the ones that she offered i think one's i don't know one was more than the other but anyway they're blue note papers and i think they're two separate sets <laughs> zippy <laughs> <laughs> yes your work is done <laughs> so um these are the Chow Bella. This one is, and they both have the same number on them. So, but they're different covers and different sets. This has 15 patterns. So, but they're double sided. This one has 23 different designs and they're in, they're made in Italy. So let me go ahead and show you. And again, paint and paper studio, Zandra. And I can tell you guys, as long as Zandra's, you know, feeling well and all that her she gets her stuff sent out really fast really fast okay so this is called blue note and again you can cut all these out and i'm going to flip to both sides i love these uh, you know the color the textures the peeling paint and all that and uh <clears throat> and just the whole vibe i just i just love the whole vibe of it so i'm going to show you these that's all music notes and then these are uh six by six or just shy of six by six cutouts here love the blue note she i know right rebecca i know xandra has it in her shop i'm telling you go get it while while the getting's good because she sells things out fast she does everybody loves xandra's shop mm -hmm. so here's new orleans manhattan blue note chicago maps Thank you. 
Janet said, go there. Yeah. There we go. Janet posted the link again. Go there. Go there. And if you like these kind of papers, you know, I have different all kinds of, you know, binders and journals and three ring binders. These some of these papers that are like you really just love the whole sheet front and back, then th that's the kind of a paper that I will just punch three holes in and put it in one of my three my 12 by 12 binder journals. And then here you got this where you can cut these out if you want to just use it as a full sheet. Here's cut aparts, tags and postcards and just little bits that you can use. Because I really don't scrapbook anymore. Uh, and a lot of people just do digital stuff anymore. <laughs> they don't even, you know, but I use this kind of stuff in uh, art journaling and other projects. You know, my collages. But some are just so like this, you know, this is just like a, a piece of art in and of itself. So if you want to keep that, you can just put it in one of your, if you, and you can also put it in a sleeve if you don't want to punch holes in it, but uh, you can do that as well. So that's that set. Then the second set here has these records on the front, those little 45s, and it's just different papers in this set, so... But I had to share and promote Xandra's shop because I love Xandra and I love Xandra's shop. Look, see like these right here? These are just into be nice. You could cut these up and frame them individually and do like a row, you know, do four little um, framed pieces in a row. And like this one, this is one that I wouldn't, I would just want to keep the whole piece together. And just keep it as a, you know, as a piece of art in and of itself. <clears throat> then a whole bunch of the jazz legends. Duke Gellington, John Coltrane. You can see them kind of. There's Ella Fitzgerald down there. Billie Holiday. So, Miles Davis. <clears throat> and then this one has music notes all over it. So, yeah, so those are the papers that I got from Zandra. And these rice papers. So, thank you for being so speedy on the ball, Zandra. Now, before I do my art, um, working on art cards here, what we're going to do today. I also got one more little haul. <laughs> so y'all know I've been making the little prayer pouches to send out. Let me show you the one I keep for, for myself for to show you guys. <clears throat> Let me reach over here and get it. <clears throat> These little prayer pouches and um, with the trims and the laces and a, and a, in either a pin or a charm, just different ones. I made this one because I like the butterfly. And they're little hand-sewn. I hand-sew everything, and I do it to make it look hand-sewn. I'm not trying to be, I'm, I mean, I'm neat, but I'm not trying to be over like a sewing machine, right? It's going to look hand-sewn in the sides, and then it's a little pouch that you can put up. And I got to tell you this, and Cindy, if you're watching this, Cindy at Hobby Lobby, it was so cute. She put it, as soon as I gave her one, she put it right on her on right then. And about a week later, I went back and I said, yeah, I came back to pick up some more trim for some more pear pouch. And she had under her Hobby Lobby apron tucked in her inside of her apron in her uh, around her neck. She pulled it out and said, 
I'm wearing this today with the prayer in it for my mom. T today would have been her, I don't remember what birthday. She goes, but today would have been her birthday. And um, and so she was wearing it under her in under her, you know, shirt. And I thought, oh my gosh, that was that just that you know really made my made it worth it to me to to make them, you know, when somebody really feels strongly about it like that. And I have been sending some out. And um, I'm doing those, I do those for donations, but you have to get, you have to email me and tell me like, you know, who you want, want it for colors and stuff like that. And then I send them out. And plus, if I just know people um, in the community that need one, I just send them out, but um, I'm not selling them. You can just send me postage money and donation if I, if you want one. But I only, I only can do a couple a week, guys. I do post them on Instagram if you want to see all of the ones I've made so far. But um, I only can make a couple we a week because that's all I have time for. But that being said, Hobby Lobby had <laughs> their uh, ribbon either clearanced or 50% off. Uh, if it wasn't clearanced, it was 50% off. And I think I all these were clearanced. All these were clearance except for one. So do you want me to pour them all out? Oh, and I forgot I got some more white paint in here too. I did get a couple more little white paint. I got I got big jars of it, but I like it handy right there. So uh, other than that, um, and some more plastic sleeves to send out my thank yous. This was all I got, I think, at Hobby Lobby. So I'll just, uh, here, how about if I just pull one out at a time? <laughs> I would love an intern. <laughs> okay. So like, for instance, this right here, which always reminds me of Zandra. This one is normally $7.99. And now they're not having a big, I don't think Hobby Lobby is this year is having their, they have a lot of stuff that was clearanced out. They had some of the little charms that I use on uh, my pouches and they had, um, they have a few things, but they didn't have, uh, they had a few inks. And apparently I think Tim Holtz's distress pads were clearanced out, but I didn't see those. They must have either were already gone or my store didn't clearance those out. But anyway, um, so they didn't have a ton of stuff like they did a couple of years ago when we all bought all that ink. Remember when we all bought the FW ink bottles? <laughs> they were all like a dollar twenty nine, and we all bought... 30 of them because it was all so clearanced out. You know, those little $8 bottles of ink were clearanced down to $1.25 or something. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, the ribbons were a good, the ones that were clearanced out, like this was $1.99, normally $7.99. So here's the thing. When I when I get stuff like this, until I, when I, once I show it to you guys, that's all there, that, that's all it is. It's then unpackaged and started to be used. I try to uh, use my stuff as soon as possible so it doesn't, it gets used, okay? Oh, thank you, Lady True North Jan, for the um, super sticker, for the, for, for the Beetlejuice. Oh, thank you. For the, and the bean juice, I said Beetlejuice. Bean juice is coffee in, in Jan's world. Uh, bean juice. <laughs> Thank you, Jan, Lady Jan. I'm writing you down. And you do already have, you have a print coming from last month. You have a print coming from the February. Um, thank you. So this will be um, for March and uh, it will go out the first week of April. So if y'all missed it, um, I did send out thank yous to everybody that supported the channel in February. These were the ones. <laughs> This is the thank you uh, sheet right there. So uh, all those, I did get up early yesterday morning, early enough to get them all done, whoops, all done and mailed out. So if you sent me a super chat or a PayPal tip jar in February, those were all sent out the first week of March. So Jan, you'll get one in next month. So thank you so much, Jan, for supporting the channel. The prayer pouch fund. Thank you. I appreciate that. So look at this. This is one of those that goes, you can like you make it go the other way. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's got the sequence that you can make it go reversible. And it's just so cool. It feels so cool to do that. Uh, they make pillows and all kinds of things out of this now. Yes, of course, Nettie Enabler. 
Of course. Well, there we go. Of course. <laughs> Uh, hi, Trisha. Good to see you. I'm trying to click on people that are just coming in. There's Barb. Uh, I think she's picking on Zippy. Uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> but I love this. And I bought some of this, uh, in, I think, in, te in uh, Teal's a while back. And I sent some to Zandra. So you know I'm going to have to chop off a hunk of this and send it to Zandra. Because <laughs> she's our resident mermaid. Just like we have our resident Zippy the Unicorn. Zandra is our resident mermaid. So we got that. And then this one, again, I'm going to try to, let me get my littler scissors. It's probably easier to grab that plastic around it. I've just got to try to cut. You just got to get a little snip and then it'll tear off. I don't want to snip the, snip the uh, ribbon, but I'm going to try to show you each one. Did I snip the ribbon? Come on. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so this one was normally $3.99 for 99 cents. Look, see, look. This one's real slick and shiny. You know, it's it looks like a unicorn horn. <laughs> I love teasing you guys. Thank you, Nettie. Thank you so much for the super chat. And I don't know if I have your address, Nettie. Um, send me send me your um Although Munson sounds familiar. Yeah, I think I have your address. Thank you so much. Shopping money, you enabler. Thank you so much. If, um, if, I, if you're not sure that, whoops, that I have your address, guys, email me your address so I can send you a thank you out the next, the following month. I send them out once a month. And um, so thank you. <laughs> There's my email. Thank you, guys. I appreciate supporting the channel. Thanks, Pacola. Pacola's always right behind me. Um, our little snapdragon. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. So anyway, um, yeah, this, it feels real. Um, oh, no, I just like it. So this one was normally $3.99 for 99 cents. Okay, this one was normally $6.99 for $1.74. This one has pearl. This one is velvet. This is a velvet ribbon, velvet ribbon with pearls. Look at that, guys. Oh, and also, just to enable you even more, I have some trims coming from Amour Fabrique from Selena. She has some new, she has some new fabric packs, um, scrap packs, and she has new trims. She has some beautiful trims with beautiful beaded edging on some of them. And uh, so I did buy I did buy uh, two of the of those and a couple of her scrap packs. So Amour Fabrique, if uh, Pacola or, or or Janet <laughs> wants to put a link to Selena's, she has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. Um, hi CB, good to see you. Thanks CB. So anyway, this one is a velvet, a pink crushed velvet with pearl not real pearls obviously but uh you know pearl edging so look how stunning that is guys oh and it just feels so awesome feels so awesome uh so yeah that was normally 6.99 for a dollar 74 book is faster yeah there she is okay so uh it's a more fabric and there's her etsy shop but if you put in a more fabric she'll want to follow her on youtube because she'll do specials every now and then and she'll show those specials on her youtube channel and it's first come you know whoever you know when she does those daily deals but they're not daily she just calls them a daily deal because when she has a sale she'll post it on on uh, YouTube. So you want to follow her on YouTube and that's her Etsy shop right there. So I've got some more coming from her. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, and I also got cream color crushed velvet. And again, I think it's the same price. Let me take off the plastic here. So this one again was $6.99 for $1.74. And this one's a cream crushed velvet with pearls look how pretty that is so i'll use some of these on uh not everyone i got a couple of them to use kind of like washi tapes 
on in journals but these fancy ones like this these are the ones uh, along with my amour fabric uh, from india uh trims and fabrics these will go nicely with them oh thank you bacola there's our youtube channel <laughs> thank you bacola so um yeah look how beautiful that is so i got some of that some more mermaid. <laughs> this was normally $3.99 for 99 cents. And um, the bottom half of the spool was gone. Was yeah, I know there's plastic on there. Uh, it was gone off of this one, but I didn't care because I'm going to take it off the spool anyway. Let's see if I can get that. So this is more mermaid tail uh, trim. There we go. Again, Zandra will get some of this because, you know, we, we support our Zandra. So there's some uh, mermaid mermaid tail trim in like in a blue iridescent. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Sorry, I love it. <laughs> I have to share. Okay, then, oh, I also got the <laughs> baby blue crushed velvet. And again, it was normally $6.99 for $1.74. Look, it's just so soft. If you're a text, you know, a, a texture person, a tactile, if you're a tactile person, that's just so awesome to touch. It's just beautiful crushed velvet. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so this one I got for the pouches as well, like the bottom of the, like along the edge. It's some gold, um, gold uh, lace look so pretty so I just hand sew this kind of thing along the bottom now the rest of these I think oh and this one was normally this may have been no did I oh, I threw it away I don't know what it was it's normally $6.99 uh, and I don't know if this one was one of the clearance one or if this was the one. This might have been the one that I bought. I think this is the one that I got for 50% off. Because if it wasn't on clearance with the red sticker, it was 50% off. So I would have got this for half price. But this is something I really needed for my uh, prayer pouches. Now, the rest of these were, um, I got them for like art journaling or other other projects receipt so these um these weren't necessarily for the prayer pouches although i do like this uh more uh zandra mermaid look at this one so this one is normally 3.99 for a dollar 24 and this is elastic look at this it's elastic <laughs> mermaid scale. Look, isn't that stunning? So look, this might get used on a prayer pouch because it's just so glittery. Hi, Carmen. Anybody else that's new or I missed? She went crazy in the ribbon department. <laughs> and the rest of these were, you know, I think they're all American craft ribbons. And they, well, there's one that's not. This one was Ribbon Boutique. But they were $2.99. $2 I think all these were normally $2.99. And I got them for $0.99. Cents. So these were all $0.99. Cents. I, won't, I won't take them apart right now. But I got these more for art journaling, um, ribbons, uh, like bookmark ribbons, that kind of thing. So I got this shiny floral one. I got this arrow one pink and this one is a grow grain well let me take it out uh, take the cover off grow grain uh ribbon <clears throat> with the arrow and this is uh, a light peachy pink with little um little gold hearts then i got this rainbow one the pastel rainbows and this is a satin ribbon Again, I'll use them in my art journaling. 
This one has stars. This one's kind of hard to see. Let me take the... And again, they're all 99 cents. Clearance out. If I can get that. Let's see. Didn't quite cut it there. Still didn't quite cut it. I don't want to cut... There we go. I don't want to cut the ribbon. So this was really pretty with the stars. So got that one. Oh, and this one again, I got I did get this one for the prayer pouches. This one was normally $2.99 for 74 cents. I can get the plastic off. <clears throat> So this one is little gold um, rhinestones. And they had this in like every color. <laughs> He's at work, Zippy. <laughs> uh, so they have this in every color. So I only got the gold one. But if you like this, and they also have the wider one with, I think, four, uh, four side, four width of rhinestones and so you can cut these up you can cut them uh down the center or um you know they're on a they're glued to a netting and then the last one i got was some um a blue uh, and again for art journaling i got these uh anchors let's see uh, i gotta get right under the There we go. <clears throat> These blue, uh, navy blue, nice uh, ribbon with the gold anchors. So I got that. Again, for, more for my art journaling than anything. So, yeah, I not spend too much on ribbon because it was all clearanced out for a couple, you know, a dollar at the most. I think the most expensive one was $1.74 normally $6.99 so yeah so I will and what I do is I take all these apart and um, wrap them up because then they take up less room off of the spools so I will do that later let's move this off the let's move it off the desk so there's no paint flying on them Okay, so now I think the next thing we can do is get onto our art cards. Let me move this paper out of the way. And I don't know that I'll use those stamps, but my Zandra things go in the Fibs book. Okay, so I also did pull our Thousand and One Ways to Be Creative to read in a little while. If I remember, try to re I try to read out of this book once a week. We've been reading out of it for, I don't know, over a year, maybe longer. Um, so let's see. So I did pull out all my cards that I made on. Um, these were all, we made all these on the Journaling by Fives last Thursday when Janet and I when Jan and I uh, did journaling by five our way. <clears throat> Zipping my cards. So this is kind of where I head toward this kind of thing. Where I make these cards like this. And I like fantasy. I like, uh, I like sci-fi. Grew up reading sci-fi was one of the first things that I started reading. Ian Fleming, James Bond, and sci-fi, <laughs> Heinlein, Asimov, those, that's what I grew up reading. And, uh, and I love Star Trek and the originals and all the, I just love, I love uh, sci-fi. So anyway, um, I pulled a few different collage items here to use, some watches, some mechanicals some just different things here and so what i do and we're going to zoom in a little bit and let's get let's get situated here so i think that should be good 
um, I need to get a piece of plastic, uh, wax, wax paper. My baby wipes so I can make mist and fog, <clears throat> Zippy. And uh, <laughs> so this does protect my desk a little bit from getting too full of paint. Okay. Although I don't like the way it makes it look like I'm I'm uh, foggy. Okay, I think that'll be all right. Um, oh, thanks, Tori. So what I usually do is you can start with, you can start two different ways. You can start with just collaging different little things you can start by collaging things on your art card or well, let me go ahead and pull one other thing out hang on and back up again because i want people to have options right you don't have to make art cards like three by four i used to make atcs which are two and a half by three and a half artist trading cards but since i'm not really trading them we do swaps and stuff that's why when we did our um fantasy garden swap i said three by four because you have a little bit more real estate to do things on they're a little bit bigger but technically artist trading cards atcs are two and a half by three and a half but i like to make mine three by four just to have a little bit more room to play on but that being said let me get my um this book out so and i did make this cover did a collage cover and they're not nothing's attached in this one these are it's just kind of like a portfolio where you just throw it in there and uh, but i'll show you some of the different ways you can use do the same kind of thing so if you take your which i started with these was eight by ten eight by ten just all kinds of stuff thrown on there like we did last thursday and then I started working in different journals. These I'm getting ready to show you are cut up. Um, they're journals that I, I cut down or cut up and deconstructed. So, and then I just taped them. I just taped them to a piece of cardstock so I can continue to work on them. But my point here is to show you that you don't have to do this process on little cards. You can do it on eight by 10 you can do I, I mean i've made posters that are three by four feet on the show which is hard to do on a stream because you know gotta try to fit a whole thing on the camera but if you look at my um playlist under collage mixed media art journals abandoned books altered books if you look under any of those playlists you'll find different things like this so <clears throat> so these are different ones i'm just going to kind of flip them out here just to kind of show you it's kind of the same process. So these are in progress, right? Let's see this goes this way. <clears throat> these are our journal pages that I've cut down and uh, and will continue to do more collaging and things on them. But they're they're pages that I either didn't like, didn't complete. I didn't like the whole page. So what I did is I just cut down the, the art journal pages and just taped them on another paper so that I can uh, continue to work on like this one. I started painting into this one. And, uh, <clears throat> and they're all in different stages. So I'm going to flip through these real quick while I'm reading chat. And just so you can kind of see that you, you can go from this to... Um, you know to more finished to more finished uh pieces like this but just so you can kind of see they're all in different stages they're all different um they're all different a couple of them i've painted like these two i worked on stream a while back and they're in these these were i worked on them both at the same time so you can see the waterfalls and the nebulas and the, you know, the space and all that. All this is all this is acrylic paint right there. It's all acrylic paint. Same thing over here for the waterfalls. This is all. It's all acrylic. It's just acrylic paint and collage. That's what it is. Oh, and a little bit of color pencil too. Some of it has some color pencil, like you know, maybe around the stars, like right here. There's color pencil around that. This right here has got some color pencil, but um, <clears throat> I'm 
so I'm just going to kind of flip through them so you can see uh, a bigger version. Hi, Michelle. A bigger version. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kate. Um, a bigger version of what we're going to do today, you know, on the size, our car, you know, our cards like this one. I worked a little bit on this one on a stream. There's my, there's my um, uh, pterodactyl skeleton. <laughs> And then I did these uh, rocks. Um, this is all done with uh, paint. Uh, did these rocks like the like these uh, uh, symbols are coming out of the rocks there. So here's a little bit of mist and clouds that I do with a baby wipe. <laughs> That's done with a baby wipe. <laughs> Uh, and this can either be a black hole or it could be a, a pool, you know, going down into water. So they're just all, <laughs> and I, so I never run out of things to do. I mean, if, and I never get bored. There's too much to do to get bored. I mean, if I don't have something to do, I will pull this portfolio out and just start painting or one of my multiple hundreds of art journals, you know, and just start working it on art journals. Um, <laughs> so and what i was doing on monday i showed some of my traveler's notebooks in progress and they were all none of those were completely finished they were all in different stages but i showed on monday how you can do the same kind of process in your traveler's notebooks in your tns <laughs> i see that zippy i'm ignoring it <laughs> you can do this in your traveler's notebooks, in your Arteza, you know, uh, sketchbooks, and you can do it in anything. But uh, so these are all from old sketchbooks that I didn't like the finished. I mean, they're not finished, but I didn't like the, the where they were going. So I cut them down. I just cut them all down, and now I can rework them. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, there's a whole, there's just a whole universe in that one. And uh, so <laughs> so these are all just different stages. And I don't put a lot of people in mine. Uh, my collages, mixed media. I mean, I do it every now and then because something just really strikes me. But my theory <laughs> my idea is that the person in my worlds is you you are the person in the world so i don't put a lot of people because i want you to be the person writing the story that of what's going on in the world <clears throat> but i do put them in there every now and then because people like to have people people who need people are the luckiest people <laughs> uh -huh. What's this? Okay, let's see. Tina says, what is the strangest, creepiest thing you said to repurpose? Creepiest thing. Um, well, I mean, a lot of the art that I keep might be kind of creepy. I mean, the, you know, the collage things I keep might be kind of creepy. But as far as, I mean, you know, because it can get creepy, right? But um, I don't know that I keep, like, I don't keep bones or... <laughs> I don't do that. I don't keep, because I don't do three-dimensional collage uh, very rarely. I've done a few of the art boxes, you know, but for the most part, my I like my collage to be flat. So I don't keep a lot of things like some people have bones or bugs. Cameron likes um, cicada, the cicada skins. What is that? The the you know, what's not it's not a skin. What's it called? The shell. When a cicada sheds its shell, Karen has a collection of cicada shells. <laughs> so, but I don't keep anything like that because I don't use it. Right? I don't use that kind of stuff. So I don't know that I have anything that's really creepy, uh, other than you know some kind of a uh, an image. You know, I have some creepy images, but I don't keep creepy things like cicada shells. Yeah, like <laughs> Julie, thanks, Julie. I don't keep cicada shells. A husk? Oh, yeah, maybe that's what it is, too. A husk. Yeah, I think that's what he actually called it, she spins. I think he actually called it a husk. I said, who keeps cicada husks? 
has him in his window lined up. <laughs> oh. So, see, he said, um, do you, so do the shells and bird skull. Uh, okay, so you do, uh, CB, you collect, well, you know, I have a collection of shells. I don't have a bird skull. Um, I, uh, I have a, Cameron had, um, he found the skull of a, I think it was a deer. I think we all decided it was a deer skull. I took pictures of it. I took photographs of it. And I, and I think I, I might have it in my, I don't have the, the actual pieces in the closet in another portfolio, but I took it into Digi. Hang on. Let me go get my iPad. Tina, you might like this. <laughs> I took it into my Procreate to play with. Hang on. Let me get it. Because uh, I worked on it. I painted it. I worked on it with paint. And um, I don't think there's any collage in it. I think it's all paint. Maybe one little collage item. But what I did is I took it into Procreate. And uh, let me find my Procreate. Here we go. And I worked on it digitally. Where is it? Here it is. So this is an actual skull that Cameron found. Let me turn it here and make it big. And I put it in Procreate and I put it in space and I'm going to put a little astronaut. I'm going to put a little astronaut in the eyeball and that's a spaceship. <laughs> so this is an actual skull that he found and I just photographed it. And I'm going to put me a little uh, a little astronaut in there. So, and I did all this digitally with Procreate. <laughs> Is it a deer, Boney? Okay. So Boney said this was a deer. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so that's probably, as, this is probably as creepy as, I, now I read a lot of stuff. You know, I, I like to hang out with peeps. <laughs> oh my gosh, Zippy. There's no horn on it, Zippy. It can't be your cousin. There's no horn on it. <laughs> so anyway, um, the actual piece is about this. I mean, the actual uh, painting that I did it on is about this big. And um, so there, I did two different versions. I did a painted thing and then I sketched. I drew this out in. Did I draw it out in a in ballpoint pen? I think I drew it in ballpoint pen. That was what it is. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have a picture of that right now. But anyway, um, I drew this out in a ballpoint pen and it's about that big as well. So I have a couple versions of this. Um, this is just, I did all this in Procreate. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put a little astronaut in there. So look, let me, I, I'm gonna, let me see, where's my, here, let me get this. I'm not going to stick it on there, but because it's on my iPad, but let me see if I can show you kind of where I'm going with it. Let me see if I can find a little astronaut here. Hang on. Maybe he's going the wrong, he's facing the wrong way. Let's see. Hang on. I'm looking through some little stickers that I have. I'm going to try to find, just so you can kind of get that idea. But he has to face the right way. These are all facing left. I need one to face right. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find one. Hmm. Um, well, I'll, I'll just kind of give you an idea. Here, let me pull this one out. Just a minute. So you can kind of get an idea. But yeah, I think I drew it. Somebody might remember. I um, I drew it in ballpoint pen. <laughs> Bye, Julio. All right, let's see. Let's see. This I can't peel that sticker off for whatever reason. Hang on. I want you all to get the idea. Let me trim this. Where's it? So it's going to be kind of like this. <laughs> it's going to be something like that. Okay. So it kind of like, it looks like his pupil, but it's also the astronaut in the eye. Okay. So there you go, Tina. <laughs> All right. So. Let me set that aside. 
so I do play and procreate a little. Let's see if I can go back to the gallery. I want to get better at it. Here's the, um, let me get, let's see. Um, here is a picture that I saw somebody posted on Instagram. And it was an old building with a staircase. It just had a staircase. And I posted it and linked him and showed him and he liked it and everything. But I'm practicing in Procreate. So I went into Procreate. And at the bottom of the stairs, I added this. So I added all this and all this right here. And so this was his photograph. And then I, and I added all this to it. So. So I'm practicing in Procreate, and I'm not that good at it yet, but um, I'm teaching myself, so, you know, with books and YouTube videos. Um, here's one where I took my drawing, my pen and ink drawing of, oh, let me see if I have it handy. I don't know if I have it handy. You know, my, oh. Tina, I don't know. If, well, I don't know if we want to get into all this because you know we don't want to make zip. We don't want to make Zippy laugh too hard. <laughs> but my Inktober from 2019, I did Movie Monsters. By the way, this was Zippy's favorite. And uh, so anyway, I took. Here is I did two different versions of Frankenstein. So I took him, this, I don't know if that's the one I used or the second one. Let me see. Where's the other? Let me see if the other Frankenstein is. Hang on, because I don't remember which one I used. They're, so they're fairly similar. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find the right Frankenstein. Okay, this is the one. This is the one I use. Okay, so they're, they're similar, but this one I put into Procreate, and I'm playing with um, the brushes and things, so this is what I've done with him. So I made him have, like, electrified skin, so you can kind of see all the electricity kind of coursing through his skin. So... Yeah, so I'm playing with, so I took this and moved it into Procreate and playing with making him have um, electrified skin. So, <laughs> looks, like, looks like you in the AM. <laughs> so I'm just kind of playing with it and teaching myself some of it, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else do I have here. Um uh, uh, then sometimes I'll play with some of my collages. This collage right here is a poster size. I think the original is 24 by 36. And I, I took a picture of it, put it in Procreate. So now I can play with it more. Pretty much everything here is on the original in paint. It's all in paint. But now I can go in here and just play and teach myself things, right? <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I, I, I like Procreate. It's, it's the time. And then I've taken, um, I've taken color book pages uh, like Matthew Weldon. He did a Baby Yoda. He did a Baby Yoda drawing, and I asked him if I could. This was a couple years ago. I did it for a Christmas. So, I took the Baby Yoda into Procreate, and I colored it. <laughs> And added some things. So um, yeah, this is a this is a <laughs> one of his uh, drawings that I did the uh, added stuff to. But anyway, um, I like it, but it is it does take time to learn. So I don't know if Tina's still here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna flip through some of my movie movie monsters for Tina in case she hasn't seen them. So this was my um, this was my. Uh, uh, Inktober 2019. So the Poe was not part of it, but he's in here. Mm -hmm. so, and Tina might have already gone. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So if you don't know, in Inktober, there's 30, you know, ink, you do a draw, ink drawing a day for 31 days. So yeah, here was my cover sheet. So there's just some of them. 
Okay, so now let's get on to the art cards. We love our rabbit trails around here. Let's stick that back over here. All righty. <clears throat> let's go ahead and look. And I have not planned any of these out. So whatever. Let's move that. Let's move this portfolio of sketchbook things to the side. All right. All right. Yes, he's got a little froggy. <laughs> oh, hell, hell, here, let me show you. Look, Tina. <laughs> oh my goodness okay now on to the art cards <laughs> so i'm gonna look through these and again i did pull out some collage fodder over here i have um different collage things like uh my uh, maria ribbons extraordinary things to cut out in collage which you know there's everything in here right <laughs> everything you could think of in here to cut something out if you want it in a collage so we'll probably be using some of that and uh paint lots of paint so what i'm gonna do is first kind of i'm gonna look through them oh let's zoom back in now <laughs> um let's see the cute tips for <laughs> so you guys y'all have such great sense of humor i love y'all okay so let me just take a stack of them here so i can get them in my hand and make sure they're not stuck together because they were um you know i cut them all out so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of flip through them and i'll work on like maybe six at a time that's usually what i do is i work on about six at a time and i then i usually give them away so um and I do varnish them. I paint the backs. I, I make them up really nice. Or I make prints out of them like I did this set here. I made prints out of these. So uh, I'm, I think I'm going to pass on the purple. So I'm just going to kind of flip through and see what attracts my attention. And I'll narrow it down. I'll get me a stack going over here. And then I'll narrow it down. I love this one. Oh, I love that one. So we'll see what uh, attracts me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like so many of them. <laughs> the stack's gonna grow. Okay, so let's just keep shoving those over. I think I like this one better. And I'll try to do it in color families. Like I'll do purples, pinks, you know, teals, oranges, reds, and yellows. It's easier to work that way when you do multiples to kind of have the same six in the same color family. Oh, I need, I'm going to have to put something under here, like, because that flower is going to bug me. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, or like, here's some blue ones. <clears throat> Just to kind of separate some out. I mean, I love them all, and all of them can be made into something, but I'm just going to pick, pick some out today. So these are just all cut up from our journaling by five session that Janet and I did last Thursday. If you want to see us make stuff <laughs> like this hot mess, you can go watch our show from last Thursday. Baby wipes would be big hit <laughs> Oh my God, you guys. Let's see. I want to see. I like so many of them. But I'm gonna go, I'm determined to go through them all here. 
and I'll, then I'll, I'll weed it down. I might have to go with eight. Six might be not enough. I might do a set of teal and a set of purple or something like that. I love them all. I can see things in all of them. So I'm going to have to be tough on picking out which ones I really like. I think there's 120. I think it's how many I figured last week. Six on a sheet, 20 sheets. them all. Some are just a little further along. Almost to the bottom of the stack. Okay, I think I whittled it down to about 20. Am I still with the tour? <laughs> uh, Julie Topaz usually says she's still clutching the velvet rope. <laughs> All right, I don't know where my rubber band went. Okay, I'll just set this to the sign. All right, now that's kind of got red yellow orange kind of teal purple and kind of a blue color so kind of got them a little weeded down um for some of us that screw that screen skipping do you want to try to refresh your screen um i'm not sure what your is my screen need refreshing the screen is skipping okay let's see how do i refresh I'm not sure how to refresh it. Do I need to leave and come back? Do I need to leave and come back, Pacola? I'm not sure what I can do. Do you want me to leave and come back? I'll wait and see what Pacola says. Is it skipping because I'm flashing so many things up there? Thanks, Boney. <clears throat> skipping in the picture. Do you want me to leave and come back? It doesn't do all the time or for everyone. Well, should I leave? I'm looking at my options. <laughs> Maybe if I move a little slower. It's not you. They may need to check to see if the YouTube's changed. Keep going. Okay. Um, yeah, make sure that YouTube didn't didn't do something, go in your little wheel, guys, and make sure you're still at 1080p. Because that happens sometimes, too. YouTube will do something. Because I'm streaming on StreamYard. Bye, Zippy. <laughs> okay, so let me know if I need to leave and come back. I can do that. All right, so maybe some of these orange ones. Let's see. I think I'll put the teal ones aside. So now I've narrowed it down to the blue, the pink, and the yellow. Okay, let's see. I think I'll take take these out. Now I'm down to a blue set and an orange-yellow set. <laughs> yeah, get some baby wipes on the way out, Zippy. We leave it, we leave them. We leave them at the door. So pick some up coming and going. <laughs> Pick up some baby wipes coming or going. 
damn it. All right, so maybe we'll start with the orange, or maybe I'll do, let's see, how many did I stand with these? Did I get six of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, got six of these. So maybe we have time to do two sets. So I'll probably start, if I, when I'm going through some collage stuff over here, I'll probably, like, for instance, blue, I'll set this over here with the blue family. <laughs> And then here, like some of this orange or stuff, I'll keep this, you know, I'm just going to kind of separate it out a little bit. And I got some blue planets that I've cut out. I don't want to lose my little astronaut guy. He needs to be sitting up here somewhere. <laughs> All right, so I got some different watches. I did kind of pull out, because y'all know I like to have watches, time that kind of thing in it. So and then we'll go with the blue. So let me just kind of separate some of the colors. I just got all kinds of watches and clocks and different things here. This is just the just some basic stuff here. Like I like this. This is, I think, is a meteorite, I think. That can go in the blue. Got lots of orange things here. Some of it has blue in it, so this can kind of, you know, work both ways. <clears throat> Some little pieces of uh, photography. More watches. And I'm just going to try to pull. Since I'm working on the orange ones first, I want to pull what I want for here. <clears throat> no. And then I'll pull some focal points out of my book here, you know, <laughs> just to play. This has got to be, you got to make it fun, guys. If it's not fun, you're just you're not going to enjoy it, right? Okay, so, all right, so there we go. So the blue can go over here to this side for now, this orange. I just don't like this plastic here. I'm going to move it for now. <laughs> I think I might just take my chances here with this okay <clears throat> now <coughs> or I can just do it like a couple at a time I just don't want I don't want to make a big mess but I don't like the um, shiny it's it's bothering me all right so now I'm going to get out some matte medium so I'm going to pour out a little golden matte medium to use I don't need too much because these cards are you know, if I need more, I'll just get more out. And let me go over here and get a glue brush to glue down with. Glue brushes are the only brushes I keep in water. Um. <clears throat> I keep these in water so they don't, you know, they're old acrylic brushes. And I'm going to get out baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I might do is uh, what I might do is kind of hold them up to glue and stuff, and then I'll set them over here on the plastic because the shine is bugging me. All right, so let's see here. Let's lay them all out and kind of. Oh, I only need like six of them, so I don't need all of these. This is, you know what? This is bugging me too. Maybe I need a solid color behind me here. Let's see. Let's get a piece of it. Let's get some craft paper color. How about that? So that the color... How's that look, guys? Is that better? Now let's get the... Is that better with the craft color? Y'all let me know. It's hard to tell. When you're streaming, you can't tell a lot of what's wrong with the picture. Okay, so I want this right here. Looks good. Okay. I don't know. It looks a little flashed out. It wants to change on me. All right, so let's see what let's let me pick six of them. I'll pick six. And you just kind of flip them around and look at, you, you know, however. I'm going to go with those, I think. 
Okay, so we did that down to those. All right, there's our six that we're going to start with. Hi, Sharon, how you doing? Okay, Tina, yeah, mine is too. I should take a break, but I will wait a minute. All right, <laughs> so now I can take, um, and I can either do a couple different things. I can, you know, start cutting down, or I can just glue some stuff down and uh, paint it in. So we'll see can do a couple different ways, you know. And this is where it's very subjective. You just kind of play around till you build you a little world, um, you know. Um, I, I, I can't really explain this part other than just cut and, and glue and move things around till you decide. Is that too flat? Maybe I need to turn the light down now that I the brightness down just a little color intensity let's see is that better i don't know all right so i'm just going to play with some of my pieces here and then i'll glue them down and then i'll add more paint but if you tear your edges Unless you just want to fussy cut out like the edge of something. But if you're going to, if you want to paint something in, it's going to be easier if you, um, it'll be easier if you tear it rather than cut it because the paint, you can blend it in. It'll blend in better. So that's just my tip of the day. I need some littler pieces. All right, let me find some watch parts first. I know I'm going to want to add that. <clears throat> if you have any questions put it in caps and i'm sure i'm missing people the color is better okay it's hard to tell you know it's and, and every time you if you leave your auto light on which is will give you the best light if you let the you know let the software correct uh, i turn off auto focus but if you turn, if you leave your auto lighting correction on, you're going to probably have the better lighting, but it changes. So if you put brown paper, if you have the white paper, you got colors, it's going to change. So that's only the bad thing about letting the, letting the software, uh, letting the software do it is uh, it changes it a lot. Okay. Thanks, Judy. So I'm just kind of going to take my time and going to take a take a breath and uh, and see here what I want to add to build some little worlds. And again, this all gets painted in. I like little bits of mechanical stuff because you can you can make all kinds of buildings and all kinds of things with this. And it doesn't have to necessarily, you know, be an a, a real building or a real structure because if you're doing you know science fiction fantasy type things the the buildings and things are going to be not real right they can be uh, whatever shape or whatever you want them to be so better okay thanks guys And I just kind of play around with it. This one needs to be far away. This probably needs to be in the blue stack. <clears throat> so we'll see how far we get with this one, with this stack.
If y'all have any questions, put it in caps. I'm just watching. Sorry if it was shaky earlier or, or flickering. I don't know what causes that. When it happens, doesn't happen often. We're usually pretty lucky about it anymore. Tell you back when we had uh, back when we had a uh, stream, talk about some uh, <laughs> issues. That was something to stream on stream back in the day. So. I don't want this far back. I don't want that far back. I love this little piece, but it's not going with any of them right now. So let's just keep rolling. <sighs> I love watching the process. Thanks, Judy. It's kind of, um, you know, when I start doing the thinking and and in my head, I'm going, shh, shh, shh. In my head, I'm kind of going a little um, more slow, a little slower. <laughs> you know? It does make for um, a little bit of quieter stream. Oh, where did that little watch part go? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> it makes for a quieter, uh, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you just got to. Have a quiet. That's going to be too brown for what I'm thinking. It's too teal. All right, let's see. I need at least two more watch parts. This one might be good. Too green. I don't need another yellow. I'm just kind of flipping through some of the things that I pulled over here. Let's see what'll work. That's too big. Already got enough orange. Do I need any of this color? No. I need a little bit more landscape in one or two of them. Let's see. Like that. I know it doesn't look like, no, I, I don't know what y'all think at this stage because I know it doesn't look like anything really yet. But you have to, you know, you have to lay down enough. Uh, stuff to get you started. I'm not liking that. I like that little road there. I don't want to lose that road. Don't know that I need that either. Okay, go with that. <clears throat> Okay. 
When I'm showing these, are y'all looking thinking, oh, that should you'd look that would look good over there, there, there. Do y'all think that? I need some more watches. I didn't pull out enough watches. I think I need one, I at least need one more right here. And this needs to cut down just a little. I need to just tear it down just a little. But I need one watch here. This one, I don't think I need one. That one's got one. That one's got the arch. That's got an arch. So I just need one watch for here. Let's see. It could be in the blue stack. It would probably be okay. Let's dig through. Maybe something off of here or something off of here. See, there's all kinds of little crashed things down here. You don't know what crashed. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good to start. I think I got enough start. What do y'all think? How's it looking? Excuse the chair. <laughs> it's my squeaky chair. I got it sitting on my foot and it's falling asleep. Um, everybody goes, you got the squeakiest chair. I know, but it's so comfortable. I'm not getting rid of it. All right. So... Let's move over here and start gluing some things down. I need a card to scrape. Scrape card. All right. So let's just do one at a time here. Um, if you're going to do, if you start with a blank, if you start with a white card, then what you can do is if you have your collage fodder laid out on a white card and you're going to start with that, then have extra white cards sitting next to you so you can just pick up the piece and move it over to the card. You don't have to actually use the card that it's on. But I only have a couple of items on each thing. So, you know, I can just go in here with my uh, matte medium, which has got, I've got to get some of the water out of my brush. It's watered down a little. And you want to put it on the front and the back of your collage fodder. It does make a difference when it's on both. And then having matte medium over the whole thing allows you to paint and pencil on top of it. Because if you have shiny images, whoops, if you have shiny images from a magazine, you cannot pencil over the top of that. But if you have matte medium over it, then you can. So let me hold them up as I go so you can kind of see where we are at the beginning. Trish, I just had 37 Neo Colors delivered. Oh, I love Neo Colors. You're going to love Neo Colors. Have you used them before, Trisha? Neo Colors rock. But the thing is about Neo Colors, there are water. Did you get the water soluble ones? I'm assuming you got the Neo Color Two, Trisha. Did you get the Neo Color Two water soluble ones? The only thing you've got to remember that when you're using mixed media, that um, they can reactivate, right? I'm going to check and see if Trisha got, whoops, let's get that back up there and slide this down. Put this right over the top right there. <clears throat> the twos, yeah. The Neo Color 2 um, are the water soluble ones, which is usually what everybody wants. But when you do something like this, you can't really use them if you plan on varnishing. I mean, I guess you can probably fix a tivet. I just don't do all that. I just use acrylic paint on these so I don't have to worry about it. All right. So let me lift up this.
Do I want that this way or do I want this this way? There we go. Okay. I'm going to go that way. I got way too much matte medium poured out. But let me say this. If you pour out too much matte medium and you start, you know, digging in it with water and paint and you do not, don't put that back in. Don't put that back in your jar because you'll contaminate it. Just be careful not to put too much out to start. And then just mash everything down. And this is to, regardless of the size of the piece you're working on. You want to take and mash everything down. That will get out all bubbles and wrinkles. Bonnie says, at this point in my life, I might break a hip. But were I a gargoyle, I would perch right there at the edge of these <laughs> Oh, my gosh, Bonnie. You're so funny. Aww. <laughs> Uh, actually, gargoyles were um, were uh, supposed to ward off evil. They weren't supposed to be evil. I mean, they look horrible, but you know, or scary or creepy. Oops, move that up there. So. I am putting it on the front and the back. You just, I'm just kind of lifting it up to try to. Whoops, come back here. And you can also just leave things hanging off the edge because you can always trim that off. Okay. Okay, did I get all of them? Okay, I think I did. All right, so now in case I might want to use this, it'll stay wet like this for maybe an hour. So, um, but your brush won't. So you want to clean your brush off as best you can if you're just going to keep sitting here and then wrap it in a wet baby wipe until you can put it back in the water if I'm going to use it again, you know, and I want to keep it handy. So I'm going to set that right there to the side. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take my heat gun because I'm going to, I want to glue some, I want to go through my uh, collage book here and find some fun stuff to put on here, but I got my base. So now I want to dry this real quick because I can always just add some more. Arlene says I have a bug. Let me click on it. I have a gargoyle named Musket. He stays beside me during the winter. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Hi, Abigail. We're just working on some little art cards. We did a haul video. I mean, we did a haul segment. We did a paper, um, paper and um, ribbon haul. I showed the art cards again. The other thing, too, I always paint the backs of my cards after they're done. I paint the back black and I sign it and put a little star system on the back. Um, but you don't really want to do that if you could plan on varnishing until after you varnish. Because what happens, so there's a little hanging over there. I'm just going to trim that off. What happens is the varnish is shiny, right? So if you, if you finish your card and you put varnish on the front, invariably some of that's going to either be on your fingers or on the brush, and you're going to get some of that shine on the back. Well, that's fine if it's like this and you know you're going to paint over the back a color, right? But if you've already painted the background black, matte, or whatever color, and then you varnish, then you get that shine there, you're going to have a big shiny, you're going to have a shiny something on the back. 
that I, I wouldn't want. So I don't put the, I put the varnish first and then that's the final thing I do is paint the backs and sign it and all that after the varnish is dry. Now you, when you varnish them, let me show you the varnish that I use. I use the Delta Saran coat indoor, outdoor, or it's in interior, exterior, gloss varnish. So my golden matte medium is matte. And what the matte does is allows you to go in here with pencil and other things that if this was shiny, you can't do that with. So you want to get it all nice and matte, get, all, get rid of all the magazine shine, and you do that with your matte medium. Okay, but after you're completely done, then you're going to, you can, you don't have to, I do, gloss varnish it, and then it looks shiny. Now, these are prints right here, but it'll look shiny like this, right? It'll look shiny. And, uh, but once you do that, there's no going back with pencil and stuff, because the pencil is not going to work on top of the varnish. Now, once you varnish them, you want to let it sit at least overnight. I mean, they might dry in, you know, two, three, four hours, but you really want to make sure they're 100% dry. So leave them overnight, especially if you plan on mailing them to anybody. If you plan on, you know, swapping or mailing them out, you want to make sure they're 100% dry because especially if you stack them, they're going to stick to each other. This varnish does not stick. I use this as the same varnish I use in my abandoned books, in my art journals. And as long as you let it dry 100%, it will not stick your pages together. I'm sitting on my foot again. My foot's falling asleep. Sorry. Hi, Ray. Good to see you. Ray's one of my buds from other channels. Um, good to see you. And uh, he's been here before. Okay. So, um I got this started. Now what I want to do, if I, especially if you want to do something, you know, you can make it like real a serious, oh, I say serious. <laughs> you can make your, um, you can make your worlds more serious, you know, like this. Um, or you can take and, oh, there's my mailman. Is he going to get out? Do I need to go get something? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all too. I didn't bring him in here when I was showing my haul. I did get my thrift books, my two cozy mysteries in the series that has four, the scone book and something society. I forget what it's called. No, he's not getting out. He just shoved it all in the mailbox. <laughs> and um, so anyway, uh, I got the first two. So I read book three and four in the series and and one and two was not in hardback uh in the store so i ordered it through thrift books and i ended up getting a first edition the first one book one in the series i got a first edition signed copy so that was nice for seven dollars <laughs> so yay thrift books so now i got those two to read okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to pull this over to the side to show you so things to cut out and collage Extraordinary things to cut out and collage. Uh, Maria Rivens, and you can get this on Amazon. It's a big, thick book full, chalk full of every kind of thing you can think of. Animals, buildings, people, bugs. Then there's some larger ones in the back too. But there's just so, you know, everything. Everything you can think of in here. And uh, so, you know, if you feel like going through and finding something fun or funny it, you know if you just don't want to leave it as a world in and of itself you can go through here and add some a uh, funny focal point or you know like and i won't probably do this on this one but i want to kind of just give you an example like for instance let me cut one and you have to cut these are not stickers you have to fussy cut these and by fussy cutting what i mean is you know you can cut the outside edge uh you could leave um the interiors if, if you're going to paint if you're going to paint them in then you can uh you don't have to fussy cut the inside of every little thing you don't have to if you're going to paint because if you're going to paint you're going to paint right you're going to paint it in but uh, you can just add some you know unusual things in your world just to make it so you have a little story in your head or or you just want to have something kind of funny or <laughs> I don't know, quirky. So for instance, like you got your little chair. 
Now I could cut this out, but let me go ahead and give you this tip. Okay. So if you want to cut something out like the inside of that chair right there, don't, and a lot of people do this, they'll poke a hole in there like that, and they'll start trying to snip around and cut in there. Don't do that. If you're going to glue this down, look, just go ahead and cut right in <laughs> because when you glue it down, you're not going to be able to see that you cut into an area. Oh, <laughs> I moved it too quick and I cut the arm right off. So, but you're not going to see, you're not going to see that you snipped it. And I could just glue that back on the other, <laughs> the other side of the arm, but I'm not going to use this anyway. I just want to show you an example. So you can have all kinds of things. You can have things going on in your world that like, what does that have to do with anything? You know, it doesn't have to have something to do with it. It can just be uh, something quirky. Like, um, let's see, let me find something else here. Okay, for instance, um, let's just show you this. And I'm not going to fussy cut all this because I'm not planning. <laughs> yeah, oopsie, yeah, bony. Um, but you <laughs> don't look at chat when you're cutting an arm on a chair. Okay, so like, for instance, look, so you don't know what world you're in, right? You could be in all these other worldly things. And how TV set. You know, I mean, you can just do so many fun things. Um, because look, look at all the different things that there are. Look, any of this stuff could make it just a fun, like this. Look, this right here. I love that. The spout. You could have that. <laughs> you know, now this, these are tiny. So you do kind of have to be aware. Look at all the cats. You know, some of the girls put these little cats on their cards. Uh, but I'm just flipping through and seeing if something occurs to me because I could build a world of just with the, as it is. But I thought, well, let me go ahead and try to find maybe something, um, you know. Where's Tina? Is Tina still out here? I'm, am I picking on you today, Tina? I'm not meaning to, but look. We could do this. And I'm, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no pole on this, but I could put a pole on this. Because, because Tina is, and I don't want to just associate her with just Pete on Creepy Little Book, but that's where I know her from. But, you know, Tina's her own person. She's not just Pete's mod. <laughs> I don't want to make it sound like that, Tina. She may have already gone. Okay, so let's just do this. So. Look, there's Route 66. <laughs> so, you know, and you can just kind of play with it and look around, see where you might think that would be something fun. <laughs> I would want this a little higher. If I was going to put it there, I'd have to paint that in just a little higher because I wouldn't want this lined up. If I put this, like, I'd want it coming out of that watch right there. If I want it coming right out of that watch in the middle of that, but this is too lined up, right? This is too in line with that. So I'd want to make this a little higher up like that <clears throat> and then just paint in a little white, a little extra white to, so it attaches to there. So something like that. Cussy cut. <laughs> Good one, Arlene. That needs to go in the wing nut book. Oh my gosh. Cussy cutting. That is good, Arlene. Let me get the wing nut book. And I do need to take a quick break. <clears throat> All right. So if y'all don't know what the wing nut book is, it's when somebody says something like that. It gets stuck in the wingnut book. So this, this is all things that people have said over the years like that. So cussy cutting Arlene, if y'all don't know what she means, it's, you know, fussy cutting. It's kind of tricky and you cuss. <laughs> so this is our wingnut book because we're all a bunch of wingnuts. <laughs> all right, let me run the cat out of here because if I, I have to run to the bathroom, I don't want him up here on the. No, 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 gotta go, baby. Oh, it's her.
you got to go out while I'm closing the door because I don't want you on my collage. Come on. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Okay, got to give me a chance to get some of that matte medium off my hands, too. Hi, Donna. Okay, so yes, <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's see, Julie and Julie. Hi, guys. I know I'm probably, if you have any questions. All right, so I don't want to spend too much time. I want to be able to get to the painting part. So let me just kind of look through. Maybe some signs are good here. Let's see. Don't walk. It's a little don't walk sign. I'm just looking. Just random. Random. We used that little, we used a Hollywood sign like that on one of the things last week. Let's see. There's some buildings. Here, let me just kind of do this. Let's move this over a little so we can kind of see what I'm looking at here. Hopefully we're still color and not shaky or whatever the camera was doing earlier. So... Some cactus. I mean, there's just so much you can do. Mushrooms. Maybe a little mushroom in the world. People take that the wrong way. When I put mushrooms in my world. <laughs> Let's see. Cut this one down just a little. So imagine imagination. That's what uh, SpongeBob would do. But it's by doing lots of them and playing around. It's when you play around with a lot of different things in a lot of different ways, and you move things around. You know, it just, things start to occur, you know, that, that start working. But you have to just try. You just have to try. Cut some things out. Move some things around. Kangaroo, there's a squirrel. There's a little turtle. I like the turtle. Because you can put animals in your world. A little mouse right there that's cute kind of like that little mouse I'm trying not to flip the book up but I don't normally cut like this but I'm just trying to cut out one little thing here D I got 50 count super tips ah for for 11 bucks awesome yeah, they're good. That, you're going to love them. Super tips are awesome. If you, you don't know what we're talking about, Crayola super tips, water-based markers are so versatile. And they and you can write in your journals and stuff. They don't go through. They don't soak through. Let's see here. Let's get his little... I don't need those other little... Maybe I'll just cut his little legs down so he fits. All right. Let's not cut that little tail. This is cussy, cussy cutting here. Right, Arlene? <laughs> cussy cutting. I'm trying not to lose his little tail. There we go. See, that's a little whisker. No, that's supposed to be his little nose. I don't know. I don't, I'm going to trim that down just to make it. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
kind of like that. And uh, I'm just setting them down for a minute. So I'll go back in, uh, I'll go back in uh, with my matte medium and just kind of smush it in. Now, let's see. I'm just looking at what occur might occur to me. The tails on part of time. <laughs> ah, Trisha, right? <laughs> The tales on borrow time for sure. Uh, <laughs> but I love these books because it gives you lots of ideas. You know, it, it just kind of, it, it gives you lots of ideas. You can have fun with it. You know, don't be so serious, you know, all the time when you're making stuff. Oh, uh, that do you think that little dachshund's tail is on borrow time too? Uh, and I could tear this out and then fussy cut, I mean, uh, paint in, but I'm just showing you all a few different ways to do stuff, you know, <laughs> have fun with it at the same time. So thanks everybody, all the lurkers. Hupster will probably be a little late today because he's going to stop and get his Chick-fil-A. Janet, I think we're going to have Chick-fil-A today. So I can go right up to whenever I hear the garage door opening. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I want to have time to do a little painting. Do I want him there? Do I want him anywhere? Oh, we can't see that. I don't even know if I want him on there. If any of them, he's going to have to fit on here, I think, so I can see him. But I don't like him over here on the edge looking off. He needs to be kind of somewhere in the middle. Like, well, he look, right here, he looks like he's going to get hit by a train. <laughs> he's right in the road. Right in the middle of the road there. So I don't know if I want him there. <laughs> I'll leave him there for a minute. You can always paint over. And also, you can always paint over anything. Start painting something, you don't like it. You can always paint over it. Some bugs and different, uh, different skeletons. and Because, you know, if you have a lost world or maybe something's happened on the world, you might have, you know, some... Uh, you know, a skeleton. Let's see. I don't like this big one here. Let's get this over there. There might just be like a, you know, like if you're in the desert. Is this a unicorn? Is that a unicorn skull? Gosh, I'm not sure. I think I'm I'm gonna have to make that horn not not curling. So if we're gonna make it now that Zippy's gone, we can do this, right? Zippy can't say anything. But could that be a unicorn skull? <laughs> it needs to probably be kind of laid down or something, right? If it's like, if this is like the sand or something, you know? I don't want it on a tangent. Let's move that over. Well, I'm going to paint that out anyway in the back, so it won't matter. <laughs> uh, hi, Jacqueline. Oh, okay, let's see. Do I have enough stuff to start? I think so. I don't have anything really extra on here, but I don't know that every, that doesn't always need it, you know. You can always put a bird on it. I'm just flipping and playing. Some bugs. Bugs are always good too. Bees. Bzz. I like that bug. Might be a little big. That one's a little green. Little beetles. Okay, I think I'm going to stop on the collage, on the extra collage stuff, and I'll go ahead and glue this stuff down. 
so let me just go ahead and I'm just going to take my finger and glue these things down. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, matte medium on the backs here. A little bit over the top. And my little card and my mash. I didn't add anything to that one. Oh yeah, I did. I had that little mouse. I added that little mouse. That little bitty tail. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did I add anything here? My root 66 right here. Which I'll have to paint in the rest of the sign there. And my little dog. Sure, I'm liking the dog here, but I'm going to go ahead and go for it. I'm going to go ahead and put the little dog there. And the, the unicorn skull. Over on this one. All right, I'll hold them up before I start painting, just so y'all can see them before I start painting. All right, let me clean my hands. I need another piece of baby, another baby wipe. Okay. I want to buy this book, but I know that if I do, I wouldn't dare cut it. Oh, then don't get it. Don't get it, Arlene, if you're not going to use it. Well, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with just buying a book just to have and look at. But if you're buying it to use and you don't use it, mm, yeah. All right, so I'm going to dry them. quite get that mask down. Okay. Now let's move that to the side. A couple planets. I'll just probably draw the planets seeing if I want any because it's kind of small for cut out planets all right so and stars the same thing so now usually what i do let's move the matte medium out. i'm probably done with that so let me get another thing here for some uh let's just rip that paint skin off of this and i'm gonna need some bucket of stars some paint all righty let's see so let's go ahead and get out some white paint oh and i gotta read some out of this book i don't know if we're gonna get to that today let's see all right <clears throat> so i'm gonna put some this is the only time i really water down the paint is for my bucket of stars so i just put a little bit in there and i'm gonna add water but i'm gonna need some white paint too so let's get some white some black I'm getting all kinds of trucks and stuff out there some black some of the magenta. These are the colors that we use, I used when I made the cards. Some magenta. Move the matte medium. Some purple. Let's see. Where's my dioxazine purple? Where is that? Where is it? Here we go. Hi, Dot. You're welcome. Good to see you. So Dot was in the hospital. Yeah, we sent a card from all the fibs. We couldn't get everybody to sign it, though, and still get it to you. So it's from all of us, Dot. And I hope you're doing well. 
Um, I don't know any updates. If you want to tell the chat your updates, I haven't heard um, your updates, but hopefully I know you're home and out of the hospital, so that's good. So... Yeah, I'll kind of keep an eye on chat while I'm trying to do this. Okay, let's see. Oh, an, some orange, probably. These are very colorful ones. Yeah, Bacola say, nice to have you back, Dot. I got to open this up. This is a new, I don't think I have one open here. But let's, let's see. There's a, let's go with this orange. Let's go with a Sienna kind of a. Yellow ochreish orange. Oh. I'm going to try to read chat too. And then I probably need, do I need yellow? Maybe I'll put a little yellow out just in case. Not that this yellow. I have to open this one, pour out. So I'm just going to get some other colors out that I want. I'm getting way too much paint. This is why you need to have a desk journal so that when you're done doing whatever you're doing here, then you can um, use this paint up in another journal. All right, so now i got a little bit of paint here to add water to. That uh, That's the making of stars. This is my bucket of stars. I don't need it yet, but I want to have it ready. So I'll add more water when I need it. Okay. So clean that brush. Let's get a little brush here. Maybe a little scrapey first. Let's do a little scrapey. Uh, let's see. Has Dot said anything else? Hi, DP's Wonderful World. Uh, so hi to Carla, Judy. I'm probably missing stuff. I'll probably have to go back. Hi, Yvonne. Have to go back and uh, watch chat later. Okay, so now I'm just going to pick one up at a time and kind of just decide what it needs. And, and I'm going to go back and paint in too as well. I'm going to get a little bit of this purple and white. So I'm going to kind of just pick up a couple colors like this. So I want to get rid of some of this red down here. So, but I want this to look deserty like or, you know, some kind of textured landscape. So I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use my palette knife for a minute. And hopefully we're going to be able to see this. This right here is going to be gone. My cat's bumping up against my leg. That ought to work. Boom. <laughs> so I just want to add a little bit of texture to that background there and get rid of that black line. Uh, but I'm going to paint in it as well. So let's go ahead and just put some texture here. And then you can move it around with your fingers or a baby wipe. Maybe a little more texture right there. So there. Now, so now I've got to start. And of course, I'll shadow and shade and blend. But I got to start. So I'm going to set this one down. And I have my baby wipes to clean my palette knife if I need to. Although this one, I'm going to use those same colors. A little bit of this. I'll just add a little bit more textury stuff going on up here in the sky. Just a little there. And this is all going to get blended in with paint. Stop bumping against me, honey. Oh, knocked over the trash. Oh. Hang on, guys. I don't want paint and matte medium on the floor. All right, let's close the door so we have to stay out. <laughs> They're bumping on my leg and I'm going, eh, eh. Okay, so let's put a little down here. Let's see. Um, oh, thank you, Pacola. Pacola put the link. There's the link to the extraordinary things to cut out. Thank you, Pacola. Has anybody seen what dot did dot leave already? Okay, so let's see a little bit of purple. Right in there. All right. I just want to see if I need to add a little texture to any of them. And then I'll dry that. And then I'll go in with, uh, then I'll go in with a uh, paintbrush. But this just helps kind of blend more things in, gives you more texture, more layers, more dimension. 
Something like that maybe, and maybe a little bit of purple and black back up in here, which I'm going to end up with a paintbrush. I'm just scraping in a little bit of color. <clears throat> Yes, we are enablers around here for sure. All right, now let's see. Let me clean that um, palette knife off a little. Let's get a little of this orange and yellow. And I'm picking up a couple colors at the same time because when you when you scrape like this with a couple different colors, it has more of a marbly look than just a flat look, and you, it just gives it more gives it more dimension and more more things to work with. Okay, let's go up here just a little bit and I'm get my fingers in there all right so let's see I think I'll do the same with this one just a little more texture up in the background add a little bit more of that yellow to tie all that in okay let's see let's go to this one And as I'm doing it, I'm seeing all kinds of little hills and valleys and places to add water, uh, places to add waterfalls or mist or um, different things, cliffs or trees, tree lines. Go down in here with a little bit of a okay. What else? Doing anything else right now? I think I'm good with the scraping for now. All right. Now let's go in here with heat heat gun. How's the camera? I mean, how's the uh, video been? Is it, is it, did it stop doing whatever that uh, fuzzy or the skipping that it was doing? Stop. Okay, thanks, guys. All right, so now I got a good start here. Now I'm going to get my brush, a small little brush, and I'm going to start doing working in the details. So I know I want this right here. I want that sign. Let me just use a Posca for that because it has a nice sharp point on it, right? I'm going to want this sign to come all the way down into there. But it's very bright white. So this is very white. This is very um, like dull looking. So that's where you can kind of add more colors to it. Like for instance, this, I'll probably add a just this is a time where I will water down the paint a little bit. Like just have a little spot of water right there. Because I don't want to lose the I don't want to lose the design, the line art. So I'm gonna water down just so I can make that a different color than the color that was in the book. So I'm going to make it kind of an orangey color there. Maybe add a little bit of orange back in here. I have to let that dry. But I can go over that now with pencil and uh, other, you know, and, and shade under it and all that. Okay, same thing for this sign right here. Now this one I'm going to probably go in here with pink. So I'm going to just get a little spot of water. Just so I can water down a, just a smidge of that pink to go over that sign so it's not pure white, right? If I want any highlights on it, I can add that too. But I just don't want that stark white. So I just put a little coat of pink over it, okay? All right. 
All right, this dog right here. I want this background here to kind of stand out so that you can still see the dog. But it's a little stark. So again, I think I'm going to take um, maybe a little bit of purple and just water that down just enough to give it a little, just knock the white back just a little so it's not a stark white right same thing for maybe a little bit around there this is going to have watch hands coming out of it so all right let's look at it now let's look at everything all right okay so i got those things knocked back that were a little too stark now i'm going to take let's see which one do i want to start with i don't know i like all of them maybe uh, let's go with these. all right so now i'm going to sit here and decide where I want landscapes, stars, water, like down here, if I want this to be a water, watery area, do I want a waterfall coming down? So this is where I just start and I keep a baby wipe so I don't have to keep rinsing my brush out. I can just clean it on the baby wipe, right? If I need to clean my brush, I'll just clean it with the baby wipe. If it starts getting real crusty or if I have a lot of black paint in it and I'm going to go to pink paint, then, you know, if it's, I can usually just clean it out on a baby wipe because it's so small, but it'll start getting crusty and, and thick. Then you need to take the time to, you know, you're going to need to take the time to clean the brush. But otherwise, I just kind of uh, just keep cleaning it out with a, a baby wipe. <laughs> I'm saying that for Zippy. All right. So now I'm going to just kind of. I want this to be kind of, you just start, you know, you just got to start playing and make your landscape. You want water? Do you want mist? Do you want mountains? Do you want, you know, whatever you want, you just got to start, you just got to start painting. And because you've got matte medium on it, you can wipe things away and it, uh, while it's wet and you can smooth things out you can just have a lot more um time to play with things because of the matte medium so i'm just going to start building a world with paint i might want let's say maybe up here let's just go ahead and do this because i want to show you let's let's do a uh, let's do a outer space up here don't be afraid to paint things out. And then maybe right back, way back in here, there's a little. You might have to dry in between. Okay, let's add a little purple. And I'll add pencil around that. Okay, so there's a start. Now I might want to dry this. I have to get my pencils in my pencil case here, or my pencil tray, rather. I still haven't reorganized this since it all fell to the ground. All right, so now I'm going to take my bucket of stars, water that down some more, take my brush, and just very, and you want to always tap off a lot of the excess because it's a lot more in there than you think before you start flicking it. A little there, inside that little planet. And I might have some way down here at the very bottom in like some water feature thing there. Okay. All right, now I will clean this off every time to get the paint out of those thin things. There. All right, so let's go ahead and dry this.
Ooh, let's get a purple pencil, maybe, or a lavender. Let's get a purple. I'm going to have to sharpen. I'm going to have all this stuff at the ready. Where's my purple sharpener? <gasps> Sorry, guys. I knocked my light over. Come on. And for that pencil sharpener. There it is. Okay, now we're back in. <laughs> you like the colors? Okay, so now I might want this color, and I might want this lavender color too. Go sharpen. Thanks, Trisha. All right. So, and I need a white pencil. And the black pencil. Okay. So, let's see. So, up here, we're going to have this little cave door thing going on up there. I'm going to have my watch hands coming across there. Let's have a planet. Let's see. I think I'll start with a Posca up here. Put one right there. Maybe a couple. Maybe one shooting star. Right there. So we've got a little planet and a little shooting star. Now I've got to dry that before I hit it with the pencil because I'll just smear it if I don't. All right, so now I'm going to take my purple lavender here. And because this has got matte medium and acrylic paint is how I'm able to do this uh, with pencil. Okay, right up here, I'm going to go around that planet. And then maybe just a little tail on that shooting star. I need some orange. <clears throat> okay, like that. Maybe a little bit of orange in there. Maybe a little bit of white. I don't, maybe I'll get, yeah, that'll be, that'll look, I was going to say I could get my Posca out. A little bit like that. A little bit down in here. This. And then back to the Posca. Right in this little, yeah, right there. I'm going to want my watch hands to, are y'all still with the tour? <laughs> All right, so now, maybe this won't come out, maybe I'll just stop it right there. All right, I'm going to dry that. Now I need a blue shadow. Ooh. Maybe I'll have a star shine right there. I usually don't have a star shine right on my watch hand, but well, that's going to be right on a tangent. Something like that. Let's have that go right behind there. Okay, now let's put that thinner. So now I gotta dry this so I can add a little bit of shading to that. A little bit of 
orange. Not looking at chat, guys. I'll check chat here just a second. <clears throat> Okay, let me, you know, you like the orange and the fuchsia? Thanks, Trisha. Okay, so, you know, something kind of like that. I mean, I can add a little bit more. Um, some more watery kind of swirly stuff coming around here. Maybe a little bit. And a little bit more shed. And just gotta just keep working it till you get exactly what you want. Or close to what you imagine. Hey, PG Jamie, are you not feeling well? Thanks for the distraction. I know you had a, your, um, didn't your studio have a busted pipe? But that's the last I heard. I hope you're okay. Okay, I'm going to stop on this one so we can get, at least get another one or two done. So you can kind of see that. Thank you, Trisha. Studio is wrecked and hubby got injured. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Jamie. I didn't hear anything about Hub's, hubby getting injured. I did hear about the busted pipe in the studio. Well, I hope he's going to be okay more than anything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to varnish one because I always forget to do this. I don't know that it's 100% done, but I want to show you guys how to do that. It's really easy. I mean, this is how I do it. So I just take a little bit. You don't need much of this. I just put a little bit in there, like about, like about the size of a nickel. And I maybe put just the tiniest little spritz of water. Not much, just enough to really get it to start moving. And I just hold it and I just roll, roll the... Uh, varnish all over like that and that's it now I gotta let it dry it's a little bit milky but it will dry clear and so this sits aside overnight then when that's dry then I'll paint the back black and sign it and everything on the back but you want to do this varnish part before you paint the back because if you get any varnish here you're gonna have a shiny spot and if you've already painted the back you're going to have a shiny bit there. So there we go. So again, it looks, um, oops, I smeared something. What did I have wet right there? And one little black something right there on the edge that moved. Shouldn't have because um, it's all uh, acrylic, but I must have got something black right there. Or I didn't let it dry. I didn't let a little piece of black dry right there, but that's okay. So, because I want to show you all how to varnish. So you just kind of smear it over, let it dry overnight. Okay, I don't know what I did over here is my lamp. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. Uh, where do I put it? There. Got my wax paper. All right, so now I'm going to continue on and just pick one. And, uh, like, maybe I want more blue sky or a crack in the sky right there. And I didn't get out any. I'll clean that brush off. Another baby wipe. I didn't get out any blue. So let me do that. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Jamie. I did not know all that had happened.
I have some clouds coming across there. And this is the part where in my head I'm telling myself, I'm trying to just chill and imagine a world because this is the part that is my favorite, but also takes the longest. If I really take my time, <laughs> if I really take my time, this is the part that is the most uh, time consuming where I can get in all these details, but it's the fun part for me. Um, Judy, her studio flooded when the pipes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, when the pipes broke, you know, when Texas had that big snowstorm, I think her pipes broke in her studio. But I didn't, then she just mentioned something happened uh, to um, her hub, hubster, but I don't know what that is. If she wants to say, she can feel free, but she said he, he was, he got injured. So I don't know what happened. I didn't, I didn't hear. Okay, I got to get this little bit of paint off the my sign there. So if you want to add stars or planets and things like that, and if you don't want to, you don't want it everywhere. You want it to be a strategic area of space. Then you can uh, just do that with the pasta. Get the black paint out of there. Now I want to take my pencil here and shade the sign a little bit because I want it to have a little bit of textury bit make it a little roughed up <clears throat> blend it a little Something like that. And I'll take my Posca which, and then I'll give it a highlight. Yes. <clears throat> Now what I'll do is just put them where I want them. If y'all ever played Yuru, and you can imagine the the crevice there with the <laughs> in the, the in the desert, something like that. Let's see. I need a little bit more around the sign. I think. Now let that dry and then I can go over the white and knock it back just a little. Maybe. Dry, 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 dry. Hold it back up. I have to leave it on the table to put pressure down on the pencil. I kind of lined that up a little too. Let me see if I can get. Yeah, let's move that. Let's move that planet in just a little. Let's 
smooth it right in here and then kind of have an orange one behind it. Have this little glow around the mountains here. Something like that. And my Sharpie pen, our Faber Castell. Let me go in here with my six, Route 66. <clears throat> Do I want a little bit of a glow around that? Anyway. And Dot, you're home, right? I mean, I know you're out of the hospital. Is it, I didn't hear you answer how you were doing either. I'll just leave us hanging or I just missed it I tried to see how y'all were doing maybe I'll have that go right at the top of the bag Okay, I think I'm going to stop on that one for now. Although I could get a little bit more definition in my sign there. Oh, good. You're out of jury duty, uh, Juanita. Did you, how did that work? Did y'all do a virtual, like a Zoom? What did y'all do? For jury duty, because you didn't go in, did you, Juanita? I thought you would have been medically exempt from going into jury duty. Oh, thanks, Beth, and hi, by the way. Well, we've only done two so far, and this one's got varnish on its drying over here. It looks a little milky until it dries, although I still got a little smear right there. I don't know what I did. Because I'm careful not to use anything that'll run, you know, any, um, what do you call it? Like me, what, what, bleh, water mediums. Um, what do you know? We had to call in every night to see if you were needed. Ah, okay. Oh, thanks, Kate. How you doing, Kate? Is y'all any, uh, is your school days, any days open yet at your school? I, I think even, I think even California is doing one day or two days for a couple hours. I don't know the exact schedule. It's probably different in every county or whatever, but have y'all uh, opened up any days um, yet, Kate? For those that don't know, Kate's a, a school teacher in a school. <laughs> An art teacher in a school. Uh, let's see, Juanita said, no, they denied my exemption request, even though my doctor notes proof of well, then how, then how did you, they just didn't need you? They just had enough people, um, Juanita? Still teaching virtual. Okay, 100% virtual. Okay. 
bunches, but we'll go back in a few weeks to a month. So Juanita said, so if they had selected me, I was going to show up with my bag full of needles. <laughs> oh, Juanita, I'm glad you didn't have to even attempt to go. I'm glad you didn't even attempt to have to attempt to go, Juanita. Okay, so I'm just kind of making them. So we only did two. We probably have time for maybe one more before Hubster gets here. So um, now I won't finish them this week, or I might finish them by this weekend. But let's see who needs some cheering up. I'm going to send one to Juanita, spell her name right. I'm going to send one to Juanita, one to Jamie. Uh, I'll send one to Dr. Dot, who I still haven't heard how she's, I sent her a card, but we'll send her, a, we'll send her a card too. Who else here is really bad off this week? <laughs> who else is bad here this week? I don't want to make it sound like that. Uh, but yeah, we'll send uh, I'll send one to Juanita, Jamie, and Dot when I get them done. Uh, again, you know, I've got to let them dry and varnish and paint the back. So it'll be another week or so before I get them out. But uh, just a little cheer up. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I didn't select you, Juanita. She spins, I, eat, I call her Little Foot. And I know that's a whole story. She says, I don't have a little foot, but I'll tell you all the story while I'm doing the next one. So Juanita is a a spinner i like you know back when let me go let me back up a little i'm going to keep painting while i'm talking so years ago um <laughs> when uh exercise spinning started being popular you know with the the bikes you know well first off all my friends were saying well i'm going to spin i'm going to spinning class today and i'm thinking to myself when did everybody get into sheep and wool and yarn and spinning <laughs> i used to think that that's what they meant when they said they were going to spinning class well now for real juanita is a real spinner she does spin <laughs> she does um you know, just go okay i will thanks i will scroll back dot because you did say i will scroll back and read your chat uh thanks dot um <laughs> So then, uh, but Juanita's a real, she does real spinning with uh, <laughs> uh, alpaca and sheep and all that. She does her own. And she used to do some years ago. She would, uh, and she might still do it occasionally, but I haven't seen it lately. She's been doing other art and, and things too. But anyway, um, she actually had a spinning wheel, like a, a literal, you know, the old timey spinning wheels where she would spin her own alpaca wool and things. And one day it showed, she, she, she was on her show and she was, had her foot and she was doing the pedal like this. And she had the yarn and she was spinning it, you know, the wool or whatever. She was spinning it and her foot was down the floor doing this. And her little, she had the little, it looked like a little foot. So I, I dubbed her Little Foot because <laughs> it looked like she had such a tiny little foot. So that's my pet name for Juanita, Little Foot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you, uh, let's see. Uh, you have jury duty this summer. Okay, I've had jury duty a couple times. Um I, I was in one case, but I don't remember if they just missed it or something, but I did take art. I mean, I took, uh, I took, uh, portrait stuff to do and sketches while I was sitting there because, uh, yeah, you got a lot, there's a lot of sitting time, a lot of just sitting around doing nothing time. You get to, you meet some good, I mean, I met interesting people, you know, that are all sitting there. And of course I'd never met a stranger. Y'all know. I'll just start talking to anybody. So I'm, you know, made a couple friends. I got a portrait commission from one person and, you know, did some other things. But, oh, brother, Tori. Tori said I would pay money to see a sheep spin. Oh, brother. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, well, you can see she spins Juanita. 
Oh, the toes because that's true. <laughs> well, anyway, it looked like a little foot, so she's always going to be little foot to me. Uh, I didn't see what happened to Janet. Uh, Trish is picking on Janet now. I don't know why. I'll have to get with Janet later. I'll I'll call Janet while I'm eating my Chick Fil A in front of her. <laughs> uh oh, did I see what happens? Janet's gonna say, "See, that's what happens when you're mean to me. You drop your card in the paint." <laughs> oh, all right. So let's see. Let's. What do I want to do back in here? Yeah, Hubster's bringing home Chick-fil-A for lunch. So, and me and Janet loves it as much as me. And uh, so, yeah, let's see. Let's make some little hills back there, some little mountains, some little, some kind of landscape back there in the back. And then I need to use a baby wipe and do some, um, do a uh, mist just to irritate uh, Zippy. All right, so let's see here. Let's go and clean this brush up. It's starting to dry. Let's dry this. Let's get my little bucket of stars here. Let's water that down just a little. Get a little bit of that in here. I should go ahead and throw some stars on. Well, that's not. They're not far enough along yet. Okay, let's do that. Clean that brush. Let's dry this. She's being antagonistic right now. Me or Trisha or both. <laughs> okay, so this is how I'll take a baby wipe just to do a little bit of misting. So I'll take, and I, and I don't want the water down, really. I want the thicker paint. And I mash it into my, I put it on my hand so I can, I'm mashing the paint into the baby wipe. Mashing it in. Mash, mash, mash. <laughs> and then I can take and I can do cool mists. Mist with it. Maybe a little bit up there, too. But you can, and then you can get a clean spot in the baby wipe and kind of smooth it out. And it just makes a cool looking um, misty area that you can't really just get with a brush. It, it needs, it needs a baby wipe. <laughs> and Zippy was here, Zippy the Unicorn was here earlier teasing us about that, so. Dee, how do you get such perfect stars? When I flick the paint, it gets blocked. Then you're not, then you need to uh, tap off more. You need a floppy brush. For one thing, you need a floppy brush. I'm using one of these Sumi brushes that are real floppy. It doesn't have to be a Sumi, but it needs to be a, something that's real flexible. And what you have to do is, you know, there's quite a bit of water in there, but you tap a, a ton off, Kate. Okay? Till you think there's nothing left in there you think there's nothing left in there and then when you go to do it let me see here let's just put some on here then you're then it's small it's very small right see but you have to tap off more than you think a lot of tapping tap tap um it's probably about it's kind of ink consistency see it there see how i can drip it over to the side it's like ink consistency. Now, the thing about it, if you get it too watered down, your white is going to not be bright white. But you can fix that by, you know, some of the stars are going to be duller anyway, right? They're going to be farther away in space anyway. So those can be the dull ones. And then you've got quite a bit here. I smeared that right there. But then when you dry it... If you want some brighter ones, then go in with the Posca and just pick out a couple, you know, two or three or four. Pick out a few that are uh, brighter 
and then leave the leave some of them leave some of them in the background not bright it looks more real that way and then in hubster's home then you can take pencils okay and i like blue purple orange and you can do your nebulas with that okay so you can take and do let me get the brighter and you can put nebulas in there with pencil see see how you can pencil over the black acrylic and it looks like a nebula then you can go back in of course anywhere and add more pencil so i'm going to go because i got my chick-fil-a uh, i hope y'all enjoy this let me back out so you can kind of see how small these cards really are in real life <laughs> they're they're uh, three by four and i'm gonna i'll finish them up and uh um i still have to finish up my panda color book page out of uh kirby roseanne's kirby roseanne's a color book so there we go you're welcome i hope y'all enjoyed this we've been here for three hours 45 minutes uh, and if you missed the beginning, I did have a haul video, some beautiful, stunning paper from Zandra's Paint and Paper Studio, some cool ribbons. Uh, I did show the art cards again from the art card swap. And I did send out everybody's thank you from February. So, um, yeah, I think we got it all covered. You're welcome, guys. Thanks, Boney. Thanks, Pacola, for being here. And Janet and Julie Topaz. I'm coming. <laughs> He's just letting me know. Um, love what you've done today. Thanks, Dot. And I'll go back and rechat when the video renders and see what's going on with you. Because I, I did not see. Other than that you're home from the hospital. And um, okay, guys, thanks so much. I'm going to go eat my Chick-fil-A and then I have a whole bunch of mess to finish and clean up here. And, and we did not get to read in the book, so we'll have to double up on reading of this next week. So, yeah. All right, guys, we will see you all later. Thanks, everybody. We will um, hope you got some ideas and inspirations and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.